Well, a very, 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 very good morning to you and uh, Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF. No, correction. <laughs> what is your airfield? So this is our first coverage actually of, a, of the Free Regiment Army Air Corps, home of the Apaches. And uh, yeah, a little bit different. We were, right, so this was the original plan, ladies, gents, teddy bears. We were supposed to go to um, RAF Shawbury today. It's wet and we were then thinking about RA, uh, um, former RAF Lynham. We were thinking about all the routes that the fly past, the Apache Farewell AH-1 Apache fly past uh, today. But uh, here we go, look at this. So there is a fly past, a farewell fly past, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Got a double whammy here. Look at this. Got a doubling. So it's home of the Apaches. I'll give you all the history. It has got a lot of history. All the way from Blenheim's P-38s. Here we go. Ted Coningsby channel, live here at Wattisham Airfield. This is an Army Air Corps base, and we've got Apache starting. And we uh, did our usual checks this morning and uh, contacted the guard room. They were very happy to hear our voice, and we've informed them again of our uh, presence. So, no issues there, all good, clear to go. We're good to go, let's ride. So for those that don't know, there is a fly past. Uh, you can track it, uh, Yeti. It's um, taken off from uh, Netherlands and it will be carrying out fly pasts around the country. Uh, it will eventually stop off at Shawbury around about sort of 1430 local. And they will return here. Hopefully they'll do a fly pass later on in the afternoon, very late. It's a farewell for the uh, the older model Apaches because the uh, British Army now have the AH-64E, which we can see here. Look at this.
first visit to Wattisham, but not our first time seeing the Apaches. We're so used to seeing them at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range, where we've seen them fire rockets. But uh, yeah, we weren't supposed to be here today. We were supposed to go to Shawbury, but it looked very damp, very damp. And I uh, hope you're all dry wherever you are in the country. Uh, I know for once, for me at the moment, I'm not wet at the moment. <laughs> Get to hit the light, Lady Shens and Teddy Bears. Let's have some Army Air Corps. Big it up for the British Army, Lady Shens and Teddy Bears, because these mean attack helicopters are a lifesaver in the on the battlefield. I can tell you that for sure from uh, lots of uh, stories that I've read and heard. Thank you. Yeah, it was uh, CPR one two three four. It's such a gamble for me because I am aware that they, you know, the weather can be wrong. I really wanted to do Shawbury today, but and then I thought about Lynham, going to Lynham to catch the fly past. That that looked wet. Oh, everywhere I wanted to go was wet, and I was like, okay, let's see them coming home instead. And anything else is a bonus. This is so. Thank you. It makes me feel better that um, it was. Uh, it is not that I want it to be emotional weather where you are, but you know, as a choice for me to bring you some sunshine and some Apaches, then fine. Thank you for letting me know that I've possibly made the right choice. Uh, thanks to, I've got to do a shout out uh, for a gentleman that helped me find here. Um, also, thanks Chris as well for letting me know about here. But there's a there was a, a very helpful Ted fan who's excited to watch this. And we'll get him a guards march as well and it's mark flatman thank you very much mark uh, who showed me how to find here um a recommended spot and also there was another spot as well uh, i think it's at by runway 05 i think it is but honestly mark thank you we'll get you a guards march ted be on the on the case as well thank you very much shout out to mark flatman thank you for um for this and advice thank you Alex Binks, man. We'll do it together. We'll come here, bro. <laughs> hey, we'll come here, man. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a little, uh, we'll have a TCS visit here together. Very good morning to you. Spanafly, how you doing? Thanks a lot. Hope, you're, hope everyone had a good weekend as well, man. It's Monday. Hit the like, ladies, sheds of teddy bears. Hit the like. Let's get this on. Ted Coningsby Channel bringing you live military aviation around the country. And we would love you to hit the like button. Let's get this done now. Hitting the like will recommend the stream, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Give us more views and viewers because it will recommend the stream. We've had a thousand likes on every single main stream that we've done. A live show, our main live shows, not like our members only ones or anything like that. Um, we're not that big yet, <laughs> but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Our, our little channel, bless it, nearly at 45k. Um, hit the like because, like I said, it's not a Facebook uh, numbers game or anything where you get loads of likes, you know on Instagram or a Facebook post. It's not a numbers game. YouTube, it has impact. YouTube will recommend the stream, simple as that. Um, and once it gets recommended, that's well, potentially more exposure. More exposure means hopefully more viewers. More viewers will then lead to more subscribers. This way, I can make the channel bigger so I can make it even better. That is the way it is.
Thanks everyone tuned in. Christine Barnes, how you doing? Ellie J Approach, Rebecca, Chris Blocks from Sally Cullum, Synchro Tones, how you all doing? Darren Parsons, oi oi, May, uh, Ellie J, Mayhem, Alex Spinks, of course. Keith Gregory, thank you for the super chat. Get your guards marked shortly. CPR1234, how you all doing? Kim Hovens, Matthew Court, Theo, Luke, who's just down here. I think, is that Luke in the car? Hello. <laughs> Eric, how you doing, my man? Terry Ubanovich, how you doing? I think I got that right. Terry Ubanovich. Or Ubanovich, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure where the accent goes, but I'll do my best. Alan Burden, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Katie Weber, Perry, how you doing? Enjoy my local base. Thank you. on the move now.
nicely done. A nice start to the morning, two Apaches. Let's ride. Thanks everyone who's tuned in. I hope you all had a great weekend, by the way. This is the one and only Ted Coningsby channel giving you live military aviation. On our first coverage of Watersham, which was our reserve choice due to the fact of the weather. I was so itching to get down to Shawbury, but it just uh, it wasn't to be. And uh, news has it that not all eight Apaches are actually in the fly pass now. So, <laughs> never mind. These things happen. It was supposed to be eight, four old and four the new ones. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thank you very much for the updates. Don't forget, uh, how many have we got watching? Yeah, 800, lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. Some lovely shots there, wasn't it? I mean, okay, it's not the most ideal, but you know what? I just want to say thank you to um, Chris Bloxham and uh, Matt Flatman for that, um, for showing me how to get here. Thank you for that. Um, that's really, really kind of you, lots of support. It was, like I said, it wasn't, we weren't supposed to be here today. It was, I, uh, well, I planned this yesterday, of course, but you've got to make a decision and you've got to stick to the plan. You have to but, don't go with that of all your life. You know what I mean? Go with that recommendation all your life. Um, you know, as a, as like, you know, just a bit of advice stick to the plan stick to the plan because there's nothing like how we doing Let, let's just go around here how we doing <laughs> ted coningsby channel how we doing have i zoomed in too much ted god this is quite this is a very different setup to what i've normally got up here today actually it's actually a different setup let's ride how we doing how we doing y'all you good ted coningsby channel live here at all right I've got to stop saying that. I'm so used to it. It's always RAF something, isn't it? Every time. <laughs> I've got to stop saying that, or they probably will get a visit, actually, regardless. How are we doing? <laughs> it is um, Free Regiment Army Air Corps, home of the JHC Joint Helicopter Command. I will talk about all the details. How are we doing? My name, for those that don't know and tune in, my name's Nick Oss. I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Hello and oi oi. How are we doing? Let's ride. I feel a bit of a newbie today. I've got no scanner because I've got no frequencies for here. I just thought I'd turn up and see what happens. <laughs> but, um, but all is good. Um, but yeah, so for those wondering why we're here, right, so there's um, a fly past, an Apache fly past. It's a farewell, farewell to the older model Apache, the AH-1, I believe. Um, it's the older model. Am I right? So I'm not too familiar with Apaches. Am I right? The AH-64, just a, a quick identity. It's got the radar on the top. Am I right? I could be wrong. Is anyone here listening? Maybe someone could tell me. Is that right? I'm sure it's got the, the radar right above the, the, is that right? I'm waiting for a message saying, nope. <laughs> like, uh, it's like a quick identity. I'm pretty sure that might be the case. I think they, they, they're, 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 there's a lot of differences with them as well, but I think that's one of the ones I spotted. Um, so yeah, there's a fly pass to say goodbye, a farewell. And um, it's got, there's loads of routes pointed out on Facebook. It, they are airborne, they're call sign Yeti. I'm not sure if they've entered, uh, they've gone over uh, British soil yet. Um, but uh, it's going all the relevant bases that relate to the Apache, like Lynham and um, is it the uh, Merville Barracks, is it? Um, Shawbury, uh, RNAS, Yeovilton, that kind of thing. Um, they're going lots of places that related to the to the uh, Apache. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, radar above the rotors. Yes, get in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so I was looking at, oh, cool, because they're landing at Shawbury today. All right, that's part of the fly pass route. And I was thinking, oh, this could be it. The weather on the west side of the country is it's drier in the sea. I'm telling you. <laughs> Obviously not, but you know what I mean. It's emotional. So... Yeah, that was the plan. And then I looked at, well, how about going to Lynham, men? Uh, you know, how about going to Lynham? And I was thinking, oh no, so they are coming, they are coming here, but later, like 17.30. They are running late as well. 
<laughs> getting a uh, slight darker colour. Oh, we're getting loads of. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So um, I will. I will talk about the history. The history I do know about the base, even though I need to stop calling it RAF Watersham. It used to be RAF Watersham, though. There is a reason for that. There is a um, the Stone of Mem uh, Remembrance just here, just there. I don't know if you can see that. Do you know what? I think I should donate some flags. I think the TCS should get some flags for here. I might donate some. There's no flags on the flag poles. Oh no. But yeah, so I looked at um, I looked at uh, Lynham. I looked at even thinking about going to like over Cambridge. And I was like, it's not gonna happen. So I thought, well, we could come here. It could be a long day, of course. And just over the Isle of Shepe. Right, cool, thank you. So yeah, I was like thinking, it just was so wet. Everywhere I wanted to go was wet. Lionham is clearing up a little bit when they're supposed to be going over, but Shawbury's totally underwater, bless it. Uh, it's just, nah, just no. And then, uh, and then I find out that, that some of them have uh, not made it into the fly past either. So I thought, well, do you know what? Let's um, tick this one on, in the box. <laughs> Getting hundreds of messages. Thank you all so much, honestly. Um, yeah, so I thought, do you know what? Let's just do it. So I came here, found the guard room, um, gave them a call. Um, if you're watching, if you're tuned in, <laughs> they've got the details, so all good. Um, and a nice wave, some of the uh, some of the crew here that just drove past, that's nice. So yeah, not bad, hasn't been a zero. We've seen two of Hatchies taking off together. Beautiful, not a bad start. So for those that don't know, my name's Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. And we already had an oi oi as well, so that was banging. That was proper rocking, proper. So yeah, all is good. You know how we do it here on the Ted Coningsby channel. And uh, yeah, so, um, um, as promised, Mark Flatman, uh, Guards March coming up um, very shortly. Hang on, let's uh, let's get sketch you a Guards March then, man. But yeah, thanks for that. For those of you know, that support the channel and just give us little little clues. Like I said, we weren't supposed to be here today, um, and you know me, I've always said um, we won't we won't really do Watersham or anything because they come to Hull Beach. But oh well, we're here now. <laughs> let's big up the British Army. I know Ted's. <laughs> Right, Mark Flatman, Guards March for you, man. Thank you very much for that. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Ted's got his RAF beret. But actually, I believe there are Royal Air Force here, actually. I, I'm pretty sure there, there are Royal Air Force here. Oh, what was my notes that I wrote? Something to do with them being here. I think they still run the base, and I think there's there's um, there's a squadron here of, of uh, a particular description. Let's let's check the notes, Ted. Check the note, Ted. Get, check the note, Ted, to get it. So yeah, it used to be an RAF base with so much history. It used to um, be a uh, United States Army Air, ba Air Force base as well. I know, how cool is that? Right, let's, uh, let's not be too intrusive. Let's keep it over here. You know how we do it on the TCS. You know how we do it. Looks like some out of War of the Worlds, doesn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Do -do -de -do -de -de. Right. Let me just check my ADSB just in case there's something unexpected. <laughs> Let's ride. Right, I'm just going to check ADSB in case there's some sort of surprise catches me out. Yeah, so you can. I'm wondering if those, thanks Chris, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if those two are joining then, the fly pass, is that, does everyone probably think that's what's gonna happen? I, I reckon it's joining them. Oh well, we got to see the beginning of the fly past, if that's the case. So yeah, for those that don't know, it's, it is enriched in history, Watersham, um, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. It used to be Royal Air Force Watersham, or more simply RAF Watersham. The ICAO code, like we like to do, the um, 
which is the airfield four digit code there is a, a three digit system but we, we we like to keep it we don't want to keep changing all the time it's eguw that's echo golf uniform whiskey and um between 1939 and 1993 the name of the royal air force station uh, located in east anglia just outside the village of Wattisham, and it's south of stowe market in suffolk england and it's a nice drive um about and you'll get to see the uh, famous is it the suffolk pink houses um, there's a lot of medieval routes to that and there's a particular pink that you can use and you have to get clearance from the council for that and by the way thought I'd throw that in <laughs> oh dear um, so yeah during the Cold War it was a major frontline air force base as well operating quick reaction alert south so Wattisham was a QRA during the uh, Cold War uh, before closing as an RAF station um, in 1993 um, it was our quick reaction alert stations for the south. Uh, since 1993, it has uh, been operated by the British Army as a JHC, that's Joint Helicopter Command uh, Flying Station Wattisham, or simply, it's now Wattisham Airfield. And uh, for those that get excited, especially Drew and Margot, um, and Trespire, if he's on, um, the, the Phantom F4J of number 74 Fighter Squadron was based here. So, just to give you an idea, Royal Air Force uh, in use from 1939 to 1942 and 46 to 1993. And between that period of 90, uh, 1942 and 46, it was home to the United States Army Air Forces as well, so um, as, as a sole operator. And uh, it's, it's impressive. Oh yes, but that this is the RAF history part of it before we get to the um, to the army side of things. So I opened in um, on the fifth of April, nineteen thirty-nine, and again uh, it was a medium bomber station. Squadrons there being operated were equipped with the Bristol Blenheim bombers, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Oh, ho, ho, Bristol Blenheims. I, um, I was lucky enough to see one fly at, uh, last year at the old Buckingham, if anyone's uh, seen that, it's beautiful. Part of number two group, uh, number 107 squadron and 110 squadron were stationed there um, during the outbreak of the war and they were number 83 wing. 4th of September 1939, uh, just 20 hours after the declaration of war, bombers from Ottersham took off on the first ever attack against enemy shipping in uh, Willemshaven. Uh, harbour and there is a like I said the stone of remembrance um, with that just uh, I think it's to do with the Blenheim that I uh, felt off the top of my head um, in September 1942 though the base was handed over to the United States Army Air Forces don't forget it wasn't a uh, US Air Force at the time it was Army Air Forces just obviously it's the same with the Royal Flying Corps it, that it was before uh, Royal Flying Corps were before the Royal Air Force Royal Air Force uh, coming up to their uh, birthday soon, their, their date uh, 1st of April and uh, they formed in 1918 for those that don't know uh, so like with many, uh, all uh, stations uh, during the time of World War uh, the United States Army Air Forces had numbers for their stations and the designation was uh, United States Army Air Force designation station 377 and um, believe 470. Work began on building concrete runways uh, with the intention of adapting the airfield for heavy bomber use. Uh, plans changed of course as they do um, and it remained an air depot and also housed a fighter unit as well. Uh, 68th Observation Group We're here between October and December 1942 as the 68th Observation Group who operated the Bell P-39D uh, Aero Cobra from Watersham. So much history here with the 4th Strategic Air Depot as well, originally the 3rd Advanced Air Depot and then the 3rd uh, Technical Air Depot. Serviced many types of aircraft but, uh, aircraft, uh, but by late 1942 was uh, concentrating on fighter types. The 479th Fighter Group uh, were here, hosted the 8th Air Force. So Watersham has also seen a bit of the 8th Air Force action. 
fighter group, the 479th fighter group. Uh, they arrived from uh, Santa Maria Army Airfield, California on the 15th of May 1944. It was part of the 65th fighter wing of the uh, 8th Fighter Command. And they operated the Lockheed P-38 Lightnings. Oh yeah. And uh, ladies and teddy bears, what I want you to do now is just, uh, just in, I just want you to visualize a P-51, North American P-51 Mustang. I just want you to visualize it, right? Because they were here, imagine it, just taking off using runway 05, I think it is here. Look at this, imagine that just, beautiful, imagine that. And they were the, um, they were from the 434 Fighter Squadron, June 1945. It was a P-51B. God, imagine that. Imagine those, that gorgeous sort of like silvery alloy, aluminium. Oh man, with the red. I think it had a red tail, uh, half a half a red tail, um, painted. Imagine them just just setting off. Wow. If I had the technology, I would do that for you. But I suppose I could do that with videos. You know, have an overlay. I could do that one day. One day. One day when I retire, I'll, I'll become like that. You know, you know, you can imagine me doing history videos when I'm when I'm retired, man. I'll be still doing this sort of thing, but I'll probably be doing the more history side of things. You know, what do you reckon? Does that sound good? Because I love that. I'd love to do overlays. I'd love to get in there and and work on on stuff like that. Getting the P38s just transitioning like from the Apache that is here now um, to that. I, I love that. I'm very respectful. I, uh, you know. It's, it's just awesome. So the, uh, the 479th Group received a Distinguished Unit Citation, the DUC, for the destruction of numerous aircraft on airfields in, in France of 18th of August and 5th of September and during aerial battle near Munster on the 26th of September. The unit continued escort and fighter-bomber activities from October to mid-December 1944. It converted to the P-51 Mustangs that we just said uh, between the 10th of September and the 1st of October, using both types on missions until conversion was complete. Um, so you, oh, how cool is that? So P-38s going in together with P-51s. What a mix. That's what I call a gorgeous salad. Um, the group, uh, uh, they participated in the Battle of the Bulge, uh, December 1944 to January 1945. They're again an es escorting bombers to and from targets in the battle area and strafing transportation targets while on escort duty. Now, from February uh, to April 1945, it continued to fly escort missions, but also provided aerial patrols to support the airborne attack across Rhine in March. Now, it's very important to remember the importance of having escorts and uh, fighter escorts because you know how vulnerable uh, the, the the whole point was to escort them make sure they were safe because they're more nimble the the last thing that a bomber wants to do is to get attacked before it even gets to the uh, what well, doesn't want to get attacked anyway but it's well you're asking for it aren't you going over occupied Europe you're gonna get attacked no matter what but if you have an, a fighter escort with you they can sort of take care of those situations to save you your ammo to save you getting um, crew lost they're a lot more nimble than someone working as a tail end Charlie do you know what I mean not that they're not effective but why risk that than having so the more east these fighter stations I think um, is it Bottisham as well as another fighter with P-51s I think they had. These were really important, which is why um, when we did the Lost Airfields King's Cliff, if you imagine, if you do, if you do your geography and um, if you look at uh, RAF King, former RAF King's Cliff near Wittering, that was used as a, um, as a fighter escort as well. The worry was it was quite far away. Imagine that fuel that's used to get even just a here. So that was a bit of a worry. I think it, it might have been one of the, the most west fighter escort stations, RAF Kingscliff, but there we go. These things are part of history. We learn, we move on. That is, that is history right there. You make it, you learn, you move on. I hope you're enjoying the little history lesson there. Uh, the United States uh, Air Force uh, 479th Tactical Fighter Wing at George Air Force Base, California, 
1952 to 71 was bestowed the lineage honors and history of World War II United States Army Air Force 479 Fighter Group. Uh, the 479 Tactical Fighter Wing, again, something we know quite well from uh, talking about Lake and Eve, um, history with the tactical fighter wings and squadrons. Uh, they deployed personnel and key aircraft to um, Key West, NAS, Florida in response to the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis, which is why I wanted to home in on that, right? Because we spoke about that on our Members Only Lost Airfields video at North Lavenham. There we go. How awesome is that, that we uh, touched in on the Cuban Missile Crisis? But there we go. Um, but uh, from 1946, it was back to the Royal Air Force. Uh, 1946, the base was returned to the Royal Air Force. 266 Squadron with Gloucester Meteors. Oh, ha, ha. Station, they were the F3 version and was stationed there from the 4th of November to the 5th of December 1946, from the 4th of January to the 16th of April 1947. So the Air Ministry Serving Development Unit formed here on the 1st of January 1947 with a number of aircraft, including the Avro York, uh, the Hawker Tempest, uh, Mark V, Gloucester Meteor, F4s and T7s, Avro Anson and T20 version, and a de Havilland Vampire. <laughs> Isn't that called like a, the wheel, whistling wheelbarrow or something, the vampire? Is it, am I wrong? Was it a nickname? Because it looks like a, uh, it's a nickname. I don't know how true that is, but it, it whistles. Anyway, the squadron disbanded um, on the 1st of June 1950 at RAF Wittering. In the mid-50s, the Black Arrows display team uh, 111 squadron operated out of Watsham as well, flying the Hawker Hunters. There's so much going on in this place. Um, I believe English Electric Lightnings were here as well. I'm just trying to, trying to remember. Um, but 1949, new runways were laid out and the following year, number 152 squadron um, arrived with the Meteor NF-12 Night Fighters. Uh, 54 saw Hawker hun Hunters from 257 and 263 squadrons. Uh, the UK's next generation fighter uh, after the Meteor, uh, which arrived to secure Watersham's future as a major fighter station. The station commander group Captain Edwards um, had artificial legs like Douglas Bader uh, before him. The wing commander was one of the four uh, Sowery brothers all of whom held senior RAF posts. The officer commanding number 257 squadron was a Major Howard E. Tanner, a US Air Force exchange pilot. Amazing. So the Black Arrows aerobatic display team flying the Hunter moved to Wattisham from uh, RAF North Weald with air displays becoming a regular feature from 1959. So in the 50s, Cold War, Quick, uh, quick reaction alert, QRA was here. Um, so intensify times, inten intensifying times uh, during the 50s. So the RAF began to modernize Britain's air defense. Um, as White Wizard mentioned, a deterrent. That is a key word. Thus, in 1960, the station was equipped with the very latest in British fighter aircraft. And that's right, the English Electric Lightning, capable of uh, plus uh, double the speed of sound capabilities of the aeroplane and Watsham's location near East Anglian coast proved invaluable in countering the threats phased from the east. Uh, throughout the Cold War, Watersham operated QRA, as we know, quick reaction alert sheds where uh, live armed jets were on standby at all times. The station also functioned as a site of major blacktop diversion runway. So next up, we're, we're going to start to see 56 Squadron later in the history. So from 1976 to 1992, we start to see uh, in 76 the Phantom FGR2s of number 23 Fighter Squadron, which arrived here to replace the Lightnings. 56 Fighter Squadron followed on 9th of July, arriving with their Phantoms from RAF Coningsby. Oi, oi, 10 HQ! Uh, from Mottisham, the Phantoms continued the role of playing a major part in defending Britain's airspace. We've largely involved intercepting the Soviet Tupolev Tu-95 bear aircraft. And it was part of the quick reaction alert south. So lots of stuff going on here with Phantoms. Um, so we're going to talk about the Falklands as well. Um, 
sort of involved as well. We're going to talk about that. So uh, in 1979, by the way, before we get to that, Watson based Phantoms FGR2s from 56 Squadron was used to reenact a transatlantic flight of the Alcock and Brown crewed by pilot squadron leader AJ Antonio Alco and navigator uh, Flight Lieutenant W.N. Norman Brown. Now, following the Fol Falklands War, it was decided to base Phantoms on the Falkland Islands. So in March 1983, number 23 Fighter Squadron relocated from Watersham to Port Stanley Airport, leaving the Firebirds as a sole base squadron. Now, on the 19th of October 1984, Number 74 Fighter Squadron stood up at Wattisham equipped with the unique McDonnell Douglas F4J. That's right, your Phantoms are here. So much going on, so much. Uh, just to finish up with the RAF here, uh, 56 Fighter Squadron disbanded on the 31st of July 1992, reforming as a uh, Tornado F3 OCU at RAF Coningsby. Oi, oi, 10 HQ. <laughs> Number 74 Fighter Squadron continued to operate at Washington until the disbanding on the 1st of October 1992. So that was the future. So it's seen a lot, this base. It's seen a lot. So the RAF kind of returned here with Westland Sea Kings as well with the search and rescue helicopters. Now they operated these on former QRA hangars, by the way. The station was transferred, transferred to the control of the British Army in uh, September 1993, by the way, for those interested. So this is where we get to the British Army, which we will talk about who's here, what's here, what's going on, and the RAF are still here in some ways. There we go. History lesson at Watersham with the Ted Coningsby channel. How are we doing? So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. A lot of aircraft here, wasn't there? Lots of aircraft. Lightnings, Phantoms, Meteors, Ansons, P-38s, P-51s, Blenheims, you name it, it was here. How spectacular is that to have everything here? Acted as a QRA, did you know that? I didn't know that until I started learning about it. And and um, it's just amazing, amazing to see that. Um, yeah. Um, I know uh, potentially today could be a long day of history lesson. It could be just those two Apaches. Who knows what's going to happen today? Um, but anyway, we're here. Um, it's a nice little day to talk about the history. Uh, this could mean future um, streams here again. So this is quite nice. Another another one to add where everything is emotional and just want to mix things up a bit. So really, really cool. Nice to see. It was a good view, uh, good vision of the two, wasn't it? Really, really good. Um, and the base now will get used to me calling and just making sure it's all sweet and neat here for us so yeah really really good isn't it really really good but yeah so disconnect um so the disconnection shall we say i don't know if that's the right word but uh the disconnection of um the raf and then the um a transition of the british army here how cool and they're here today from 92 amazing absolutely amazing Army Air Corps, free regiment. Let's talk about them. Let's have a look, see what's going down. I'll tell you what I'll do though. Let me just go on the chats and break this up a bit before we go into the uh, into the army side of things. Let's get you, um, let's have a look at some guards marches because I'm sure there's going to be some. I hope you enjoyed the history anyway of the Royal Air Force and the United States Army Air Force. If you do come here, don't forget behind me is a uh, memorial stone. Please check it out. Some lovely, uh, lovely stone dedicated to the uh, Royal Air Force taking part in the first raids ever um and as you heard it didn't last long before the first blenheim set foot here and just went straight out amazing shout out to watersham tower how you all doing hope you're good keeping things sweet and neat yeah I, I kind of it was looking like they were going to meet up with them wasn't it so they've now met up with them uh, they're going to do their fly past um for those that know it's it's all over facebook i think some of the uh some of the movements and i know uh, some of you put it on our very own discord so they go over lineham rns uh, yelverton i go to uh and land at uh, Shawbury before uh, having a little land and then heading back here. So 
how late we're going to be is in their hands. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But no worries, we are enjoying it. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad I made the move. It's, I mean, where else were we going to go? It was wet everywhere down there for the fly past. So it sounds like, what is it? Just two and two then by the sound of it. Because we definitely had two, two here. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? On a special, you know, farewell to the older model. Uh, Ness uh, Fullerton. Guards March, thank you. Welcome to the TCS Posh Officers. Eh, hello. I like the way we've got an RAF beret. Uh, but then again, the history here is very, very linked. Mind you, the uh, Army Air Corps here, Free uh, Army Air Corps, uh, they wear a, um, a type of blue beret, by the way, so we can almost get away with it. Uh, Margot, congratulations to Chris Bloxham. Blue, an honour to know Chris and an absolute TCS legend that he is. Thank you very much, Margot, and congratulations to Chris Bloxham for having a Blue Skies loyalty badge next to his name. Nice, let's ride. Keith Gregory, oi oi everyone. My granddaughter is doing her maths exam today. Well, best of luck to her. Let's give her a guards march. Good luck. Thanks a lot, Keith. Thank you very much. Margot, gifting the Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much, Margot. Thank you very much. Guards March for Margot for gifting the Ted Coningsby membership. Babs are gifting the Ted Coningsby membership as well. Thank you very much. And uh, Ginger Bailey, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the super chat, man. Guards March for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hope to see you Thursday, man. Uh, Craig Bruce, check him out. Member for 14 months. What, what? 14 months membership. Thank you with the TCS Posh Officer. Thanks very much, man. Uh, hello. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you everyone for joining us today. It's uh, a little bit different. Uh, Lake and Eve, I believe, is closed again today, so we won't be doing our Monday show there. So we have uh, decided to come here due for the for the fly pass. Now, hopefully, we'll get four then coming back. I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure how this is going to work, but uh, we do have a very long wait. <laughs> Um, if we don't have, have anything in between. But you know how it is. It's, uh, it's the way it is here, you know? Anything could happen. But welcome to the show. Uh, there is... Um, we're near Crash Gate 2, for those that um, want to know where we are. And there's a nice lay-by with a bin provided. This is pretty cool. Obviously, we're not blocking the Crash Gate because it's way behind me at the minute. But uh, thank you, everyone, that's tuned in. So we have had uh, two Apaches depart today. So yeah, the schedule, um, there is a, a schedule for all of this. And uh, then the, probably won't be back till about six o'clock. They are running a bit late, um, but let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen today. No worries, even if it means just having a, after six hours, have a, <laughs> we'll see. Well, hopefully we'll get something before six hours. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's hope that wasn't it for the day. You know how it is with military. Yeah, that's right. 17.30, that is correct. But they are running late by about 23 minutes. Asked what, yeah, sure, let me show you. It's not a problem, right? I think, right? So, this is the uh, this is the lay by, right? So, uh, Craig, I'm not sure 
if you can if you're allowed i can find out for you there is some sort of path bit i'm not sure if it's blocked off i can't answer that unfortunately um i don't know if you can see that very well but there is sort of like a you know like i don't know about a two meter distance between this hedge and it looks to be like some sort of path um i'm not 100 percent sure if, if it's blocked off or not at the crash gate so the crash gate it's just here mate it's just over there now i'm not sure if you know what i mean if you can walk you know in there if that makes sense do you know what i mean it looks like you can walk i don't know don't you know obviously don't do it if you, if you can't but what i'll do um when i when i get down from the van i'll have a quick look because that that i can answer because it's you know chain link um just trying to see if it is locked i can't i know some of the guys here that are experienced coming here would know i can't see any yeah i can't see any restriction for that at the moment but i will confirm that remind me mate if i forget i will go and have a look i'll walk past it There is another spot um, that someone recommended me, and that's to the. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the parking's like. This is why I didn't do it. Uh, there was another. There's another bit you can do. Um, it looks like you can drive there, but I don't know. But it obviously goes to a crash gate. But I don't know if you can park anywhere. Maybe it's something I'll do. But I don't know if I'll do it today. It's quite. A, it's going to be quite a late one. But there are quite a few um, experienced uh, spotters that come here. Yes, you can walk down there. Use your rules, apply, don't climb, touch it. Thank you. Right, so Craig. Thanks a lot, Perry. So. So you can park here. Um, there's the crash gate. Walk up to the crash gate, hit a right, and then you'll be between the hedge and the fence. And quite rightly so, use your rules. Please don't touch the fence, uh, you know, climb it, etc. Cut the fence. But yeah, you got a good view, and this is the view I had. All right, hope that makes sense. It's any unfortunate thing, it's quite obvious. It's the sun in, you know, sun all day pretty much on you. Um, but yeah, but thank you for clarifying that, Perry. That is very kind of you. So yeah, you can walk along then, because it's a chain link fence, no problem at all. And again, that crash gate is number two, by the way. Crash gate two, for those that are interested. So yeah, it's um I guess it can be good here, it can be quiet, whatever, isn't it? It's <laughs> same as Coningsby, might start late. You know how it is. But they are due to come back. Now <laughs> that could be a while, so yeah, half five, six o'clock we're looking at, but um they'll be nice. At least we know they're coming back. I just thought it'd be quite nice to welcome them back home. It depends if there's good pizzas where they are. Don't forget to hit the like, ladies, shenzhen, teddy bears. Let's try and get a thousand likes. We'll try, try our best. Thanks, Perry. Yep. So, there's your answer, dude. Hope you're good. <laughs> Peter Atkins, how you doing? So yeah, you can follow the fly past, um, call sign Yeti. Joshua Brown, how you doing? Ian Wright, oi oi. Colin Penny, how you doing? Robert Swales. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Too right, man. Do -do -do. 
Chris Blocks and Rebecca, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Pizza does sound good, doesn't it? But yeah, another challenging week. I'm just trying, I'm, I'm um, <laughs> doing a week of avoiding weather again. Standard life, isn't it? Standard. But hey, it's been good. We've had two Apaches take off. We got to see them. First time I've seen it. First time I've been here. Um, I'm loving the history here. It is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. The history of this place is... is um, I've got a funny feeling there's a museum here, but I'm sure Perry can answer that. Perez, Matman Bush, enlighten us. We are beholden to you. <laughs> but yeah, I think there's um, I think there's some sort of I think there's a museum. I'm sure there's. I, I read somewhere today. In the morning, I tried to I tried to absorb as much info as possible. Get bits here, bits there. everyone that's tuned in thank you um, but yeah potentially this could be a very very quiet one but no worries we're happy we've seen Apaches take off here never seen that before so that was quite nice hopefully there'll be more you just don't know treat it like any other base you come here you wish you hope you see you learn <laughs> next day <laughs> that's the way it is with Ted Coningsby channel So they're just uh, both they're both over London at the moment, uh, all four, shall we say, both flights. I think Yeti uh, one and two are meeting up with three and four very shortly. They're the, almost either end of um, London, but they're catching up with each other. But uh, it's the way it is. Got to wait. If you don't go, you won't know. Do you know what I mean? We've always said this with the Ted Coningsby channel, but I can uh, fill in the gaps with lots of history here. We still haven't spoken about the um, British Army yet that are here. We will save that for a moment. But uh, I'm not, I don't have any dates when they are actually officially retiring it, retiring the uh, the older model Apache. But uh, they are due for retirement. Hence the arrival and deliveries of um, recently the AH64E models. Not at the moment, there's none on the apron. There are none. Um, and we can have a quick quick scout, just quickly. Six hundred likes, come on, let's try and get a thousand today. Hopefully it's not gonna be our first without a thousand. Uh, yeah, there are none out at the moment. There were two, obviously, they were the two that went out. Like anywhere else with military, prepare for a long way. This is new, never been here, let's try it out. It's a bit like Mac Loop, you know, we've had two movements. Sweet as. <laughs> just a couple of guards marches to do or oh, a few actually thank you very much Ted you good Ted just looking around there it's 
So Justin Edwards, member for five months. Thank you for an amazing five months. You're welcome, man. Thank you, Guards March. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Karen Lewis, member for 14 months. Thank you very much. Guards March, please, by Reggie for me and, and Gareth L. Right, uh, where's Reggie? Reggie's not here at the minute. So we'll have to come back to that one. Jimmy Pash, Guards March, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you for your 14 months um, law service though, Karen. Uh, and thanks Jimmy Pash for that super chat, I5. Uh, Brian Pounder celebrating his 12 month membership. Thank you for a great channel and thank you for 12 months law service. Thank you to Brian Pounder, thank you very much. Guards March. Peter David Moran, uh, welcome to the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Thank you, uh, Peter David Moran. Thank you, Guards March. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, enjoy your membership. And everyone that's been gifted or uh, taken up Ted Connorsby membership on any level, please enjoy it. Enjoy your membership because you'll want to stay with us, trust me. You'll get unexpected live streams as well. Uh, Mim Z, thank you. Gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Guards March for you, thank you very much. It's just doing a fly past. Mick T, Christine Barnes, Uncle Plain Guy, how you doing? Matt Foster, oi oi, Donna Harbour, how you all doing? Katie Webber, Alan Burden, Heather, Margot Baxter, Jonathan McDee, how you all doing? Hope you're all good. Mim Z, how you all doing? Oh, he's off. I love that. I love the way Ted just, you know, toddles on a little bit. <laughs> I love the way just, just, uh, you know, he's looking around and he's off. I love that. He's obviously seen something. everyone doing ladies and teddy bears hope you're all good ted Connorsby channel live here at watersham airfield oh yes they go i didn't say raf this time but one could be forgiven it was an raf base white wizard good morning how you doing hope you're good so i'm gonna assume if they pull aircraft out that's a good sign right <laughs> i'm gonna guess Yes, mate, you all right? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, that's right, CPR1234. That, that was the plan, Shawbury today, but uh, I don't wish bad weather on any, you know, I don't mean bad weather's in hurricanes and storms. I meant like literally just rain, heavy rain. And uh, that was the choice, that was the plan. I was so excited, I was like, yeah, Shawbury is gonna be. And um, because they were supposed to stop there, or are planning to, part of the fly pass is for them to stop there and then uh, take off again. But it is wet. And you never know, it, it might get better later on, but 
to you know to go all that way because it is quite further it's about three and a bit hours for me to get there or three hours um thereabouts especially in the rush hour it will be at least three hours um yeah it just i just and then i thought about going to line them again rain hovering around the time of their fly past i was thinking no <laughs> and then i was thinking maybe go there's a there's a bit there's a route where they come back bit of a hit and miss route for me trying to guess whereabouts in cambridge they're going to be um and then uh, around colchester sort of area but then i thought why don't i just come here probably see an apache or two and then okay it could be a long way but at least it's dry so far the plan is working so far <laughs> that's why we're here instead of shawbury today but they are due back here later today uh, between sort of half five and six p.m so could be a late one because they are running late. Right, let's have a, a little look about the... Um... So, for those that joined us, Ted Connick's be channel live here at Watersham Airfield. And it's a uh, British Army airfield and barracks located here near the village of Watersham uh, in Suffolk. And uh, it's home of the Army Air Corps Apache Attack Helicopter Force. And uh, there is, an, uh, there is a uh, helicopter repair facility provided by uh, 7 Aviation Support Batal Battalion. The, uh, the Remy are here as well and uh, that's the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers for those that don't know I'll just call it Remy can you call it Remy you're allowed to but uh, it, it's not terminology I'm used to use it <laughs> the uh, Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers and also 132 Aviation Supply Squadron um, RLC is also based here at the airfield so we are in uh, sunny almost uh still yeah sunny suffolk so garrisons here we have three regiment army air corps four regiment army air corps six regiment army air corps and seven aviation support battalion that's the royal electrical mechanical engineers So Watersham used to house B Flight 22 Squadron Royal Air Force with its uh, search and rescue seeking helicopters until the uh, privatisation of uh, SAR, Search and Rescue Provision, in 2015, uh, which led to 22 squadrons standing down. The closest uh, search and rescue base under the new uh, Bristow Helicopters contract is Lid Airport in Kent. So, Watersham Airfield, as we said, Army Air Corps, it's part of the Joint Helicopter Command, and it's the 1st Aviation Brigade, Brigade Combat Team, sorry about that, 1st <laughs> Aviation Brigade Combat Team, Army Air Corps, and it has, uh, like we mentioned, 3 Regiment, which has 653 Squadron, and they fly the Apache AH-1, and the uh, AH-64E, which I guess they're all going to transition to, uh, 662 Squadron, 663 squadron again those two squadrons fly the apaches uh, we've also got four regiment 
We've got a 656 Squadron and a 664 Squadron. Again, Apaches. Got a 6th Regiment. They're the uh, Headquarters Squadron with uh, 677 Squadron. The Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. So that's uh, under that uh, as we break that down into 7 Aviation Support Battalion with HQ Company. 71 Aviation Company. That's the ASC. That's the Aviation Support Company. Uh, 72 Aviation Company and 132 Aviation Supply Squadron. And that's Royal, that's the RLC, the Royal Logistic Corps. So the Army Air Corps they like to say the sky, no limit. The sky is no limit. <laughs> Pushing the boundaries. So there are, for those who don't know, the Army Air Corps, a combat aviation arm of the British Army. And they are recognizable by their blue berets, if you've seen them. The AAC soldiers uh, deliver firepower from battlefield helicopters, fixed wing aircraft to overwhelm and defeat enemy forces. They also, they are, they are hardcore. They are hardcore. We, you know, we are fundamentally uh, almost now. We are 99% now. It's, it's uh, Royal Air Force and United States Air Force, more Air Force. But uh, this is the uh, Army Air Corps, and they are a lifesaver in the battlefield, especially when you've got an Apache 64E. <laughs> As enough. Oh yeah. They are. Uh, they are basically a search and strike team basically as to put them in their role so what uh, free regiment Army Air Corps, tactical recognition flash that they, uh, you can have a look at that, it's like a triangle uh, with a, a red triangle inside, like a, almost like a yellowy triangle. They formed on the 24th of October 1969. They are an attack, search and strike role. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Of course, we, um, we are expecting them to come back now, it won't be till late. Now, what we're going to do is have a little think about our cutoff time for a part one and then uh, hang around till right to the very end when they're coming back if we have no movements. Because this was a plan that I have in mind and set if nothing's going to happen between now and the, uh, the return, that's quite a long wait. That's like eight hours. <laughs> so we're gonna just, uh, we may have a part two when they return. All right, so uh, hold fire. Elizabeth LeBourne, how you doing? Oi oi to you. Thank you very much. Uh, bring chocolate. No, we didn't bring chocolate today. That's a good point. I can have a look. I may have a spare bar somewhere. I'm sure Wingy's got one. But uh, if you just joined us, we have had two Apaches uh, depart this morning, straight away, right on the stream, which was nice. It was good to see that's about it and I, I believe they're part of uh, looking at their call sign and, and where they are on ADSB they are part of the flight path so we won't be seeing them until about half past five six of p.m. 
currently nothing on the ASP or the apron. Yeah, nothing there at the moment, so we'll uh, just uh, hold fire at the moment. You never know, things can change. So if you want to know where they are at the moment. They are quite, I, unless it's, there's an issue. I would have thought they would be together, surely. Or is that just the, uh, an, you know, just some sort of issue on the ADSB? I thought as a fly past, surely they want to be together. What's going on here now? Yeah, it might be just some sort of... It. Yeah, it could be an ADSB issue. I think it's gone now. I think it's all right. It's having a moment. Yeah, it's fine. It's just my ADSB having a fit. So they've just uh, north uh, west of High Wycombe at the moment of over Chilton. Yeah, it's fine. The Apache has suddenly gone from somewhere else to joining them just like that on ADSB. Brilliant. All good. So yeah, Yeti flight, flight at four. Mm -hmm. White Wizard, what up? How you doing, man? Silver Trig, how's it going? Alex Black Cat, how you doing? Margot, how you doing? Chris Kapulu, how you doing? Mike Weaver, how's it going? Annie G, how are you all doing? Hope we're all well. Dave Holloway. <laughs> it was probably Reggie. James Boy, how's it going? Thanks a lot, Ian. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Yeah, welcome. It's, uh, like I said, it's hit and miss. You just never know what's going to happen. You just got to turn up and hope for the best, isn't it? Nothing on the uh, on the main at the moment. Nothing been pulled out just now, but uh, it can all change. You just never know. Or it could, that could be it. Just those two Apaches for the day. But I'm glad we've seen something. It's not like we came here and seen nothing. So that was quite a good catch. Good timing, to be honest. I wasn't here very long before they uh, took off, so that was good. But uh, I do like this spot, it's nice and peaceful. Yeah, we'll buy a road, but it's not a busy one. Famous last words. <laughs>
thanks very much. Hank Verhul, Mim Z. Ian Wright, thank you. Now we're doing. Mim Z, thank you very much. Right, let's sort that bit out there, Ted. Put it on Ted mode, there we go. Mim Z, thank you very much. Guards March, thank you for gifting the Ted Connorsby membership. That's so kind of you, thank you for doing that. We are on our way to 45K, are we gonna do it this week? Yeah, says Ted, <laughs> nice one. Love your positivity. Ian Wright, thank you very much for the super chat, Guards March. It's actually quite a nice day now, it's really cold now. Terrible, isn't it, Ted? We can't win. Hank Verhul upgraded membership to TCS Posh Officers, Guards March. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that, nice fly past there, Ted. So yeah, it's quite a nice uh, chilled out. It was quite a nice drive. I took a little Ted route, as I call it. Nice chilled out route. Let's show you a little round. There's a car there now, behind me, I won't get that in. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Chris. I'm gonna go and get the cup out. Don't forget to hit the light, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. Hopefully that will uh, inspire the aircraft to come out. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Come on. I'm gonna go and grab a cuppa. That usually brings them out, doesn't it? And I'll see if I've got a chocolate bar as well to go with it. That'll certainly bring them out. Be right back, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. I'm just going to go and grab my famous cup of tea.
see, here we go. Come on, Morrison. Bring some more out, come on. He's good. There we go. Dash of milk there now. A little bit more can Mindy. I wonder what Drew's got to say about these aircraft, that helicopters. I wonder what he feels about them. He makes it all good, doesn't it? Oh, oh, oh. So nothing to report at the moment. Um, let's see. What if we're going to get an A400? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? That'd be pretty cool. Is it still heading this way? No, I don't know where it's going. That's good. Tea in the cold, right? Tea makes it all good, doesn't it? If you just joined us, Ted Coningsby Channel live here at Watersham. Home of the Army Air Corps. Yeah, British Army base. And home to the Apache attack helicopter. Oh yes. We've had two this morning depart together. It was beautiful. That's about it at the moment. Which I have to say, I know for my first time coming here and um, and to see Apaches here, it's quite cool. Pretty good, isn't it? Warm with some lovely tea. having a little bit of a tea at the minute. I won't be long and enjoy this, it's quite nice. Oi, oi, how you doing, all right? I'm down here. Oh, that's good. That's good, mate, good, good. Are you far from here? Just this ferry, but ferry. Oh, okay, that's not far. Yeah. That's all right. No, that's right, no, they're not open today. Tomorrow. Yeah, nothing at the moment, just the two in the morning. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's about it at the moment. Fingers crossed it could change.
So yeah, for those that, if you do come here, don't forget to check out the, uh, I think it's called the Stone of Remembrance. I'm pretty sure it's called that. Don't forget to have a look. It's just literally across the lay-by. It's pretty cool. Could do with some flags, maybe some we can uh, send them. So the, uh, so the stone, it's got uh, 1939 to 1945 on it. And on the left, it's dedicated to the Royal Air Force. And it says, on September the 4th, 1939, Blenheim aircraft of 107 and 110 squadrons from RAF Wattisham delivered the first air raid of World War II on enemy targets. This memorial is dedicated to the memory of all Royal Air Force personnel of this station who from that day both in the air and on the ground made the supreme sacrifice in the cause of freedom to the right it's uh, got the uh, the u.s army air force roundel and it says from may 1944 until ve day the 479th Fighter Group, United States Army Air Force with P-38 Lightnings and later P-51 Mustangs through 351 missions from Army Air Force Station 377 Watersham. The last 8th Air Force aerial victory fell to the 479th on the 25th of April 1945. This memorial is dedicated to all American personnel who paid the ultimate price while on active duty here. Uh, it's got uh, it's got the 1939 to 1945. Um, it's got Army Air Force Station 377, Army Air Force Station 470, and it's got the words of "Lost in the Dark, Clouds of War, Remembered in the Light of Peace, 1939 to 1945." Beautiful. And that's just behind me. If you want to come and see that. Ronald out, oi oi. Oh, thanks everyone for putting getting putting poppies out. That's uh, that's wonderful. Ginger Bailey, a pint of Earl Grey. <laughs> that was a lovely old um, tea that I've had just now. It wasn't Earl Grey. What's this? What's going on here? What's going on down here? I'll tell you what. I'm just gonna have a quick nose then, shall we? Imagine Reggie on that. That's his sort of thing, isn't it? Well, hopefully that might mean uh, I don't I don't know where the uh, aircraft are kept. I'm sure they're in there, but hey, I'll uh, I'll fling it round if I see anything. Don't forget to hit the like button, ladies and teddy bears. Come on. Will this be our stream that doesn't get a thousand likes? Dun, dun, dun. Will it be? Well, we've had a good run. We've had a brilliant run though. And, uh, like with everywhere else, it can be potluck as we know. Okay, so what I'm gonna guess is that if they pull aircraft out, that's a good thing, right? So this morning when I got here, I seen two Apaches on the main and uh, the main ASP, apron, same thing, uh, I guess, I think. I call it I call it ASP, but I think others call it apron. Isn't apron more of a civilian thing? Don't know. I like calling it ASP or the main. Main ASP, short, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, my point is if you see the any aircraft out it looks like that's what's going to go out 
so there was only two so that's uh that's about it unless something gets dragged out dragged out sounds like it's really like don't want to go out today it's monday uh <laughs> <laughs> no worries, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Right, we've got a crash tee now. Uh, no flashing away there. Could be precautionary. Always on standby. Big shout out to the uh, fire and rescue team. How are they all doing? Hope they're good. Oh, I actually sent my poppies, but I didn't press send properly. There we go. Done it now. Ronald L, thank you. Ted should have 100k and more subscribers. I'm doing my best. I hope so. One day, one day. Uh, John, no, I didn't. Hi, John Mint, how you doing? Oi, oi to you. Did you see my post at the greatest American fighter pilot, Robin Olds, flew from Watcham? No, I didn't know that. Thank you very much for that. That's lovely. You're all putting the poppies out. Thank you. I'll try it again, here we go. Avro, oh, how are you doing, Heather? How are you doing? White Wizard, what's going on? Hope you're good, man. Can't believe that there were P38s and P51s here at one point. Amazing. So this could be the week that we hit 45k. An absolutely brilliant achievement and a you know, and that's all thanks to every one of you. Thank you all so much. We're so close. We're nearly on 44.8, which will set us up nicely for the week. So, considering I wasn't going to stream today, or at least that was a plan. I had a plan A, B, and C. Plan A was Shawbury, right? Check this out. Check out my plans, right? Plan A was Shawbury. Plan B was to do a video at Lynham, or hopefully, or try and stream in the horrendous weather. All right, that was plan B. Plan C, here. Uh, so we chose plan C. So that's what we went for. But we got to see them leave, and we'll get to see them come back, hopefully. With uh, no issues at Shawbury or anything on, on refueling. Um, like I said, if we get if we lap six hours without anything, what we'll do, we'll call it, and then we'll just do a part two. I think for the for the return, I think I'm not sure, but then I'm thinking that I might as well just let it roll. I might as well just leave it. What do you reckon? Yeah, just leave it, man. I've done this before. I just think it's live. Just leave it now. Live is live. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing. You're here, innit? Tell you what, I do enjoy the drive. When you come in through here. Check out the um, check out the uh, the pink, but uh, very traditional pink uh, painted houses. There is a, a lot of history to do with that, and uh, I think someone got into trouble because they used the wrong type of pink, uh, pink, and they had to um, they had to they were forced by the council to uh, get rid of it and repaint it immediately. A400 close by.
keeping track of that A400. Does it come in here? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That's where it wants to go, come on. It's, I don't know, is it coming? <laughs> Keep an eye on Dread Free Zero. You never know. Watersham Squawk code, let's have a look. You never know, you might get lucky. That'd be pretty cool to get that. Dread three zero. Squawking 4510. Let's have a look. Watersham approach is 4510. Hopefully that might use us. Come on. be pretty mint although we do have a tree in the way but uh, nevertheless yeah we'll do our best hopefully that a400 is coming here yeah, it's got Watersham squawk code so it could be oh, I haven't got my scanner today no because I don't have the frequency so it's, I, I just thought I'll just use ADSB. Wait, there was a quick one before I left just to go online try and get cut mm. yeah, frequency. Yeah I've got them now but I'll tune it in when I get home but uh, this could be good if this turns and lines up for uh, 05 that would be... Yeah I've seen! <laughs> there, was, there was a C5 that came across the ferry this morning oh. but it's half an hour. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> The, the, I, lo I love it when they go backwards, and I always think that's going to be a good, good, uh, good landing. <laughs> All right, uh, it's looking good. If it lines up, come on. Runway 23, I meant. Runway 23. This is runway 23 here, so that's cool. James Beatwell, thank you for the gifted memberships, man. Thank you, I'll get you a guard's march. Come on, it just needs to turn. Uh, it's not looking good. Don't know what it's doing at the minute. Ah. Oh. Still squawking, yes, squawking 4510 with the Watersham approach. Let's have a quick pan on the main. Cool, 
look at that flag. Doesn't look interested. The A400 now. B was go to line them to see them fly past. That looks hit and miss. That looked hit and miss. 
um, with the rain again, Zaza. Uh, never mind, never mind. I thought he'll be a, a good solution, uh, like a, com a consolation, shall we say. Right. Start again. Try not to knock that down. That went quite well. Right. Let's ride. Speaking of let's ride, Lendy, Jens and Teddy Bears, um, we've got some new t-shirts coming soon. Oh yes, we've got let's ride t-shirts. Those on Discord managed to see them in prototype. There will be two F35 ones and one Typhoon with let's ride written on it. Um, we'll be sporting the uh, Grim Reaper colors with yellow and the Valkyries with the green as well. So enjoy them. They'll be out on sale in the next week or two. I'll try and get them sooner. And also the Typhoon one as well, uh, which will be in grey. We're going with the uh, aircraft grey. <laughs> that should suit it fine. Well, that A400 is completely gone. <laughs> that has gone out to sea. That ain't going near us. just picked up quite a bit at the moment but yeah it's probably and I did anticipate a very long day don't forget you can support the channel do check out our uh, online store or visit our website tedconningsby.co.uk for some uh, fun stuff we've got a gallery we've got of course our online store the new merchandise that I mentioned they will be out soon um, still developing the baseball cap at the moment don't worry I'm hoping it'll, it'll be out in fact I'm gonna message them now and uh, yeah, that should be good. But yeah, three new t-shirts coming out. Like I said, let's ride uh, in two different uh, F-35 colors. And there'll be black t-shirts with either the uh, Valkyries color or the Grim Reaper yellow. And of course, a Typhoon in gray. Uh, black t-shirt again, but the print's in gray. Looks good. Those on Discord, on our members only, can check it out. And Lewis uh, let's have a look I've got Reggie here Reggie's here now we do ship globally yes we do someone just sent me a message I can't reply at the moment but we do send and ship globally worldwide so yes all right you're now he's asking for some Reggie here now 
You're right, Darren. My name's Reggie. This is more like it. That's right. Apaches, that's my kind of thing there now. God's marsh there now for uh, Karen and Gareth there now. <laughs> this is good timing. <laughs> that's amazing timing. Did you see that? Oh, they're my boys there now. Regiment, army, work together. You know what I mean? No, no. That's how we do it around here now. But hit that like button there now. So that is there now. Right, Ted, you've got, uh, right, said Ted. I'm too furry for my shirt. Da, da, da. <laughs> um. AV, member for 13 months. What a tremendous year. Huge, huge congratulations, Nikos and Ted. Thank you, uh, everyone, for the support and dedication through storms. Thanks, man. Guards March. Thank you so much. And thank you for your service, Davey. Thank you very much, man. It's been an incredible journey, hasn't it? Uh, Leslie Booth, member for six months. Fab streaming, any chance of a group Guards March? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Uh, we've got Reggie here. Um, I'll be. <laughs> oh, well done on your six months, by the way. Uh, Hank Verhul, thank you for your super chat, man. Guards March for you, man. Thank you so much. And of course, James Beatwell, what a legend. James, thank you so much for gifting 10 Ted Connorsby memberships. On a very slow day, that just it's absolute testament to the Ted Coningsby channel support with James Beatwell making 10 people extremely happy. That's so kind of you, man. High five and a 9G turn by the look of it. Thanks very much. I'll tell you what we can do, we got a we could do a uh do a guards march. Got, got, got Reggie here. Hey, we, all right, you're no, what are we doing around here now? Look at this. All right there, sir. Good up there, Gary, no. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, so unfortunately this was one of the uh, risks that you take when it comes to military it can be quiet but uh, no worries we're here all is good Someone's asking about the checkout. Uh, thanks, Mark, <laughs> from the Netherlands. Yes, we do ship to the Netherlands. Um, our checkout does go to. Um, it does use. We do use PayPal as a checkout for secure and, you know, safe checkout. Um, you don't have to have a PayPal account. You can check out as a guest, I believe, as well. If you don't have a PayPal account, and you can use your card details there. I'm not sure of the restrictions, but I know we do have customers in the Netherlands, and they've successfully had their orders come through and received. And of 
course we've shipped to Australia, New Zealand, America, Canada. And various parts of Europe as well. Is it? 163 likes to 1,000. That's pretty good, man. Thank you. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. Considering it's uh, a quite one of those quiet ones. Mind you, we've had two departures, which is more than our disastrous time at Mildenhall. We we just had the one, one departure, and that was it. And luckily, we had a, a low approach. So this is actually this is not our our quietest time. But then. You know, it's, it's, the, it's the way it is with military. It's the way it is, but uh, I'm glad I came here. At least it's dry, because from what I've been told, it's, it's a complete washout at Shawbury. But um, we just gotta live, live it through, you know, just ride it. That's it, it's all about. But uh, yeah, all is good. Hope you're all well anyway and dry wherever you are in the world as well. And a good morning, good day, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're watching from. Hope you're all good. And then, you know, those, um, those two Apaches were a great, great departure together. That was beautiful. So I believe uh, they're using Corsign Yeti and they've joined the other Yeti flight uh, to become a flight of four. Originally, it was supposed to be a flight of eight. It is um, a fly past uh, a farewell to the older model um, Apache, the Mark One Apache. Um, it's uh, they are retiring it some people say it's today I don't actually know the exact date I don't know if it is today if it's today it's today don't know um, if, if that is it then that's it but it is a farewell fly past today um, but other than that I don't know if that is officially their their uh, their, uh, their uh, retirement day today but yet yeah, sadly nothing on the uh, main ASP at the minute uh, nothing's been pulled out uh, the a400's gone out to sea but um, but yeah we are expecting them back <laughs> uh, we are expecting them back uh, between half five, six o'clock. So it's going to be a long day for the TCS, but it'd be nice to catch it. Whether or not we're going to be live at that time, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, it's still, you know, at the end of the day, still another five hours to go yet, yeah, at least um, before that. So are we going to get anything before then? Who knows? Who knows? But it is a quiet little place here now. But uh, in the meantime, don't forget, you can check out our website, tedconnysby.co.uk. Have it as a, you know, have a, make sure you do check it out. We've got some lovely things on our on our online store. Um, it's it's constantly been developed. It's constantly growing. This is a, you know, like you could call it a work in progress. It's con consistently growing the channel. Um, we are forecasting a 45K week this week, which that, I mean, I'm not, you know, trying to, you know, make it a bit um, like, you know, over myself, but uh, it, the way the channel grows, it looks like it will hit 45K, no doubt. Um, Lake and Eve brings in at least three, two to 300, two to 300 subscribers just on that. So, um, but as a minimum, we usually get about a hundred, as a minimum on a, on, a, on a sad, quiet day, we do, we do get about a hundred on a quiet day. Um, if we get those thousand likes, I know there's nothing to see at the moment, but it's all about the support. Without the support, we can't get anywhere at the end of the day. We, and um, I've always said it's not just about the aircraft. There's a whole lot more to the channel than, than just aircraft. Those that have joined membership, thank you. All levels, thank you. Honestly, the community has been built. Uh, did I just say party? We've got the party as well coming up on the 1st of December 2024. We are looking forward to it. There's, there's uh, 31 tickets left currently at the moment. Um, if you are a member, you do get priority tickets. Um, and they, uh, they will go on sale. The remaining tickets will go on sale to the uh, social media crew uh, from the first. And I know they'll just sell out. I know they'll just sell out straight away. Um, so if you haven't got your ticket already, go for it. We're looking forward to it. 1st of December, 2024. Uh, it's in Woodhall Spa. Um, tickets are 20 pounds. Looking in stuff going on in the base. Be quite nice, got something. 
be all good. But yeah, enjoy it, enjoy it. It's good, good fun. But the community we built is phenomenal. The friends I've made, the family we've created is, is phenomenal. Lots of names that I've met on the streams the, that I can see. People have come from far away to see us. Um, there's people that come from America uh, to come and see us at the viewing area. We've had New Zealand, we've had Australia. Um, people come down to Coningsby to see us. It's phenomenal. You know, to see Ted is 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 such a buzz for me as well that people have made that journey specifically to come find us. Which you know, it's it it's a it's such an honour. It's an amazing honour. Um, when I when I've been to air shows and see our T-shirts everywhere, or even in the now now in the viewing areas, it, we we get we get loads of people wearing our merchandise, the tags, the shirts, the hoodies. It's incredible, and that's a massive thank you to all of you. I mean, look, we've had two movements today. And already we're nearly at a thousand likes, which is incredible. Um, I know I make a little thing of it, but if I don't push it, some of you may forget. <laughs> um, but all, in all honesty, it's 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 overwhelmingly um, it's overwhelming, and it's in, it's incredible. You all like the history that I do. Uh, I did a little members only stream yesterday. Um, you know, it's time for me to chill. But I thought, ah, let's tie this in. Let's just, just, just you know, I do I do like to make sure you you know you have a bit of fun um, as well. So you know, and and show you that the amount of effort I put into it the amount of time I put into it the thought the you know yeah I make mistakes as well like typos on the screen and stuff like that but yeah it's fine but you know what I will never regret doing this I'll never regret it because you've given me the opportunity to do this five days a week at least I try to but the weather gets the final say right I try my best <laughs> try my best but um but yeah if you do come here obviously we are by a road do uh, if you are bringing little ones during the um even yourself as well adults be careful when you open the door but what not what what the nice thing is here as well it's not a very busy road it's really cool i love that i wish um wish coningsby's runway 25 was like this just having a nice quiet little road like that because even at 07 where the spotters car park it's extremely dangerous 60 miles an hour um i'm not one to you know start putting in things in place and start saying it should be this and that but i do feel that 60 miles an hour next to next to a viewing area is, is potentially very dangerous there's a lot of people want to pull into the car park i just i just think it should be reduced it's just my honest opinion but my point is when you come to a viewing area whether it's an official one or a lay by just just be careful of that of, of a any road okay um it's something that we always always mention on our streams in safety um because we get excited we're taking our photos we look we don't look at the road um it's it's one of those things where you know we, we just be mindful and it's nice for us to be able to tell you to you know just to remind you if you are bringing kids or you know just just be mindful of busy roads um good thing what i like about lake and Eve, it's away from the road i love that i think that's awesome i think that's a really good thing leaming as well the viewing area there um uh, the wave um and and coningsby they yes they are by a main road at least well with the wave at least they've got a reduction i think there's some sort of like advisory please go for the, i don't think they're i don't know if they're official but i'm sure there's little obviously the um you have to abide by them they are in order because of the circle they're on the stand they're not on the do you know what i mean they've tried to reduce the the, the limit to 40 there which i think is great i think it's a really good idea and i like the way you got an island to pull in before you go in i like that i just little things like that you know it all helps but uh, just be mindful of the viewing areas of the road because like i said we get i've done it i'm like oh yeah what a shot you buy a road on the road next minute so you know and uh yeah just be careful um there is a bin here as well which is quite nice as well pretty good and again the, the memorial is just there um do check it out so yeah all is good nothing on the main asp at the minute uh sadly but uh no worries
sadly dread free zero didn't quite make it here <laughs> a lot everyone Steph thank you I hope that's true I hope so 1 p.m. takeoff to watch them that'll be good thank you something to hang on to thank you uh, yes I did mate thank you very much I'll uh, indulge myself in the uh, the Apaches thank you Marco Baxter how you doing Leslie Booth, how you doing? It says, thanks Nikos for my six months Reggie and Ted's guard march. I was only four months old when I went to my first air show. Been hooked ever since. <laughs> and my daughter is now on her journey to join the RAF. Leslie, we'll give her all our backing from all of us, from myself and squadron leader Ted Coningsby and all of us at the TCS. We wish her the very best and successful career. Nice one. Another one to look after our country. Thank you, another one to defend and protect our country. Thank you, Leslie. We are proud of your daughter. Alan Burden, how you doing? Tim Gooch, oi oi. MC Picks, uh, today, they are retiring it today. Thank you for confirming. just uh, got a bit exciting. I've got a Nikos here, Nikos uh, Gatsigani, how you doing? Hope you good. Plane spotter, how's it going? Thanks everyone for getting the Ted's, Reggie's, Wingies and everything. Thanks all of you. a lot. Meth, how's it going? Jonathan McD, oi oi. Craigie C, how's it going? Hope you well. I'm the Pelham, oi oi. Nice one. Uh, how's it all going? It's now 12.06. Paul M. Hennings, how you doing? Thanks a lot, Paul. Uh, is it, uh, Paul Hennings, uh, Nikos, you're absolutely brilliant at your enjoyable work with the boss, Ted. So much help to so many people, not just military aviation. Thank you very much, man. RSVP, how's it going? Mike G, oi oi, how you doing? LEJ Approach, good, how you doing? G Van Pulliam, how you doing? Oi oi, Tim Gooch, oi oi. Hope we are all good. Town Trassin, how you doing? Hope we're all good, sup? Hope we're all good. Right, let's check out ADSB, see what anything uh, anything hopeful coming our way. Let's check out the main ASP. Can't see anything at the moment. Surely there's gotta be something, come on. Surely there has to be a departure of some description. Oi, oi, Uncle Plane Guy, how you doing? Let's get the Ted's out. I'll, I'll have a go, because I never got to, to do that. There you go. Don't 
Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel and marry them up with the notification bell button when you are subscribed. Don't forget to do that. Click all. Uh, use the all button for the uh, notification so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest live streams and videos. So far, quite reminiscent of a quiet one at Mildenau at the minute, but hey, that's the way it is. Right, might have a cup of tea. Try and get more aircraft out. for that Chris oh, well that'd be good lots of people saying about 1 p.m. well let's hope so 900 likes that's impressive thank you thanks everyone for that oh do you know it's nice and sunny this morning absolutely gorgeous now yeah, it's just gone a bit overcast but um, at least it's dry and I can have my tea <laughs> This is a, for those that come here often, right? Do they tow out the, um, do they tow the Apaches out, by the way? Just, just, this might sound like a silly question, but do they tow them out? And put them on the main ASP? Just to, for those that know, let me know. Marco, thank you very much for the uh, 25th of March, 1944, first flight of the Hawker Fury. Nice. Great aircraft. answered this tea question before so I have many different teas in one pot all infused so it's like the flask has got a, a mix I love that Ted's special brew so it'll have it does have Thai food it does have Tetley PG and Yorkshire all in there bunged in that's right to create Ted's unique tea so we're not biased 
We don't pick on anyone. We just bung it in and let it brew. <laughs> Let's brew. Hello. <laughs> Let's brew it. So yeah, it's all mixed in. A bit like what I do with the coffee. Buy loads of different brands and it's got its own little mixture in there. It's own blend, Ted Special Ress. Oh no, G Van Pulley and Walmart was out of steak and cheese pies. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh, I've done well now, not saying uh, putting RAF title to this um, airfield. It's. Uh, for those that just joined us, it used to be RAF Watersham, but not anymore. It's now uh, Watersham Airfield, home of the Army Air Corps. Home of three regiment. So yeah, it's the uh, number one aviation brigade combat team with three regiment, four regiment, six regiment, and of course the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. Uh, making it uh, seven aviation support battalion for the uh, Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. Lots of squadrons here. Making up the uh, first aviation brigade combat team, Army Air Corps. First to fly here was uh, Bristol Blenheims, and they went straight into combat from that day. And there is a memorial behind us, it's, and it's uh, also used to be home to the United States Army Air Force with the P-51 Mustangs, P-38s. It was once home to uh, QRA station, Meteors. It's had everything: English Electric Lightnings, Phantoms. Uh, it's had it's had pretty much everything other than a Eurofighter Typhoon at this place. Amazing. Well, let's hope you, you uh, Lady Shen Steady was alright about this 1 pm. That'd be nice, that'd be good. So we'll start to get a little bit worried by 2 pm if nothing's happened. It's a nice tree, isn't it? Tree watching. So, not a sight of any Apaches at the moment. Those are cool. So yeah, a nice. I love this. It's just a nice, quiet country lane. And this uh, nice opening here look so you can view the aircraft like I said there is a crash gate just to the left please respect all the rules about crash gates please don't park there please do not block crash gates 
under no circumstances do you do that they're uh, called crash gates for a reason and it's basically an emergency route that will just get smashed through so that the recovery team can get in or out we are on a lay bike probably park about i don't know about six carefully parked cars maybe more one two three four yeah about six i'd say pretty cool isn't it anyway um so Craig Bruce has asked a question about if you can go in between the hedges and yes you can if you don't have a van to, or any facility to stand on you can actually go up to the fence by going up to the crash gate and just swinging a right of course same rules apply you know don't damage the fence climb it get over it etc fly drones all the usual stuff please ladies gents teddy bears let's respect it we are lucky enough in this country to be able to do this and Joy photograph video aircraft it's all good fun Apache's probably uh, what well, they up middle wallop now are they yeah that's the one thing that's the benefit of being a very wet country is that it's green so it's a, we are a very green looking country in the countryside there and all. Terry Wells, hello from Kentucky. Oi, oi, Kentucky, how you doing? How's it all going? Helen Scott, good afternoon to you. How you doing? Hope you're good. Mike G, White Wizard, Marco Baxter. How's it all going, Davey? How are you all doing? Chris Bloxham. How's it all going? Ted Coningsby Channel, a very quiet RAF. Uh, I've done it again, haven't I? A very quiet Watersham Airfield. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, it used to be an RAF base. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying that as my backup, but I'll, I'll probably, you know, so used to saying that. Good job, Lakeney for Milden will start with RAF, otherwise I'd be in a right bit of muddle, wouldn't I? Amazing. Amazing.
tell you what, it's nice to be here though. It's nice, something to think about in the future. Uh, there's another, another place to visit, to add that on the list. I know many of you wanted us to come here as well. And I, and I said I was a bit reluctant to because of the fact that we do see them at Old Beach Air Weapons range. But today I was left with two of my first options gone due to the weather. So this was plan C to come here. So done it, added it to the list, it's on. Which is pretty cool. It was nice to see them depart as a two ship. Brilliant. Heather, take care, have a good time shopping. Uh, Dominic Nabel, how you doing? Oi oi. So how's it going? Hope you're all good. Span of flight, hope you're all good. Hope you're well. Thanks for what you do, man. Man as in plurals and generic for both male, female, you know how it is, man. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Span of Flight, for what you do. Ladies and gents and teddy bears of the Span of Flight, thank you. I got, you know, even my female friends just go, what up, man? Sup, man? What up, man? <laughs> it's just the way I am. They know me. Almost at 1k likes, I know. Cool, Terry Wells, my nephew, Navy SEAL, 20 years. Respect. Proper, we salute him. Meth 940, nice one. It is, it's quite, a, quite nice here, isn't it? I actually enjoyed the drive. It was, um, it was, under, it was just under two hours about an hour 50-ish, give or take. Oh, welcome Netherlands for joining us. We've got quite a few uh, fans from the Netherlands in. Thank you very much. Mark Huver, how you doing? I hope I pronounced that right, H-E-U-V-E-R. I'll get it. Sounds nice though, doesn't it?
plane, wasn't it? Pretty little plane out there, no? That sounded pretty cool, that plane. I must have been, never heard of that. What the salmon was that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Bang! <laughs> Doing Ted Connorsby Channel here live at Watershire Airfield, and uh, we're coming up to uh, what well, just gone 12:30. It's 12:33 here in the UK, and 
uh, we're just being hopeful for any movements before the uh, the arrival but that's still quite a long way to go yet at minimum five hours time from now so oh, I was hoping for a bit of movement at least but uh, there you go potluck right there The uh, Apache's uh, flypast is expected to be at Shawbury around about uh, 14.30 today. Uh, they are a little bit, they are running a bit late. In fact, I've got the, uh, I've got the schedule here actually. Let's have a look where they are. Or where they're supposed to be, sorry. Ba -da -ba. Let's have a looky here now. Did have it. Don't know where it's gone. Maybe I I might have accidentally deleted it. Oh well, never mind. Well, we're only three subscribers away from 44.8, so <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. And that's impressive. Thank you very much. Forty-five minutes late. Yeah, it's about right. I mean, they were twenty-three minutes late when they departed from Netherlands, so potentially, yeah. But again, if uh, if it goes on to about half two, um, we've had nothing. I may just, I may, I'm going to have a little think about. It. I'm going to discuss it with my uh, spanner flight and see if we're going to just. Uh, end it and then uh, just part to it on the way back I think I think that's what we'll do I think we'll see how it goes we may hopefully we get some movement before then hopefully fingers crossed it is Alex Binks absolutely uh, Leanne Collins how you doing hello from Ontario Canada how is everyone we're all good thank you very much how you going Craig, thanks for that. I love the bit it says due to weather. Absolutely, it was horrendous. I'm so glad. I know I, know I could have gone elsewhere and you know, I could have gone to Bry's. Uh, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for uh, the rain today, I could have gone to other places, but due to the fact that the fly passed, I could have gone elsewhere, but the weather is just, just like, I was trying to like, I had other options as well. I was thinking of, obviously, Shawbury was my first option. I was like, yeah, this is the one, but no weather horrendous. 
Then I was actually thinking of Lynham. I was even thinking about the um, the memorial as well, um, which is going to do a fly past over there at the memorial, just um, west in the in Midlands, uh, just north of Wolverhampton. Um, I was going to do that. Then I was thinking maybe try Lynham, maybe try somewhere around Colchester, Cambridge, where it's got a little route. But <laughs> it's like, well, could could get it completely wrong. But most of those are underwater pretty much now. Um, so, I think, you know, I just thought, well, if we come here, we might catch a couple taken off, which we did. Great times. And any, anything else is a bonus. So to be honest, for me, it's like mission accomplished. Yes, would love to get more, but that is the way it is. I mean, Ted will tell you that. He's a... Uh, You know, Ted and I are very experienced with this. Ted, we've come a long way, mate, haven't we? We have come a long way. We are nearly at 45k, Ted. What do you think? In shock with that, aren't you? I know, totally happy with that, aren't you? Nearly 45k. Started off with just a bit of fun, a mobile phone, and I just went with it. I had no idea where this was gonna go. Yes, a lot of negativity. Yes, a lot of those judged us like a book by its cover. And yes, I've had a lot of them come to me and go, do you know what, actually? Uh, this is really good. <laughs> so I know I've had it, I've, I get it all the time. We were like, what is this? A man with a teddy bear. And I'm like, and then they watched it and they realized educational, historical, respectful, fun. And you know, yes, I get a lot of looks. I don't care. I, I, I just, I just want to make people happy. And, and I just went with it. We are unique. You can now go uh, the guy with the teddy bear, <laughs> the guy with the bear. We are just totally unique. I wanted uh, an interactive family channel so children can get inspired and join the forces. Or at least have an interest and maybe inspire them to take up a hobby that, that we all love. This is why we do it. It's a hobby as well. You know, take up a hobby of doing photography and, you know, it's the way it is. But to also teach you as well about the history and it's just a fun community. That's how it's all about. I just went with it. Dee -dee -dee. <laughs> oh man, brilliant stuff. You right, man? Yeah, yeah, defo. Oh. Thanks a lot, Daniel. Glad I subscribed a while back. Much love from the US. Thanks, Nikos and Ted. Thank you as well. Jeremy R, thank you, hope you're good. <laughs> Thanks Alex. 
Hope you're good. Is it? 44.8K. Really? Thanks, Davey. Goodness me. Unbelievable. That's incredible, man. And there we go. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you. It is very windy. Can't see anything been pulled out just yet, ladies, shins and teddy bears. my goodness me and six likes to go for one honestly thank you so much i mean you know it is <laughs> i just can't believe it you know 44.8k a thousand likes oh my goodness me a thousand likes boom chris thank you <laughs> oh man we <laughs> this is it and it's like a little journey you know what i mean we're on a little journey together it's like you're here with this is how i feel you all of you are here with me you know we're all here witnessing and you know, being patient together and having a little chat and it's like having all of you here with me, it's great. It's amazing. It is good fun, a lot of patience and a lot of dodging weather. I just, I just didn't fancy starting the week in the rain. I was like, no, I will refuse to do that. So yeah, um, <laughs> come on, come on, come on Mottisham, come on. Come on, Moisham, you can do it. Just get an Apache out. Just give us one for, uh, just give us one for, for luck. I know the emphasis is on the fly pass, but uh, I just thought, you know what? Let's just take a little gamble and see how it goes. Thanks everyone so much. Someone seen any uh, wildlife on here? I haven't spotted. It's usually the case. Alex Binks, when I joined over a year ago, we were on four and a half thousand subs, I think one year and 40,000 people madness this is a madness this is TCS <laughs> James Beatwell thanks again man you take care yeah this is the channel that brings you Rodneys and backwards flying crows and other fun stuff random foxes with massive ears was it a fox? Yeah, it was a fox that time. Yeah, it was. The debate was whether it was a cat or a fox crossing the runway at Mildenhall. That was hilarious. If 
Craig. Bruce, hope you're well. Thanks for your little in, your, uh, updates, man. Really appreciate it. Again, for those messaging me updates, um, I can't always, um, I see all your notifications on my watch. Brilliant, love them. I can't actually react to them um, immediately. So, because I'm live here on the chats, but thank you. Uh, Yeti flight on the ground. Thanks a lot, Matt Foster. Thanks for that. <laughs> and yeah, if, speaking of which, you know, Pete, um, Alex Binks has mentioned it about a, a stadium. These are all organic subscribers. We don't buy them or anything like that. I know there's, uh, I know some, uh, well, I, I know it's an option. People do it, I guess, because you can buy them. We don't do that. I, and I'm pretty sure YouTube doesn't like that either. Um, these are all organic subscribers. These are genuine on here. Any bots, I think uh, YouTube actually delete them stuff like that so it's a I think it's against uh, YouTube like terms and cons if you buy uh, subscribers or something like that anyway we haven't done that because uh, I'd rather you know get genuine viewers rather than just uh, a bot but anyway so very proud of all 44.8 K of you what well, one of them's me so yeah <laughs> Yeah, we are right. Uh, I'll always like to call it our little channel. It is a little channel. It's fun with bears. Right, how are we all doing? Again, I really wish there was just another Apache just taking off. That'd be great. I'll tell you what, is anyone actually in the... Uh... I don't think there's anyone in tower. Hello? Anyone there? That looks empty in there, man. Oh, well. Oh, is that the, uh, the equivalent of the Birdman? They've got a different vehicle here. This is it. This is the Bird's... I've worked out that this is the Bird Scaring Vehicle. Uh, it was going up and down, buzzing on. This is a good sign, I guess. This morning when I got here. Is that over there then now? Ooh. 
Oh, that's Army Echo, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, oh. nice. Love it. Thanks, Tim. Tim Gooch, how you doing, man? <laughs> Hope you're well. Hope you're all good. Thanks, Cl uh, Chris Lorraine. Thank you uh, for uh, for shopping on the online store. Thank you very much. Airfield, home of the Army Air Corps, the uh, British Army. And here we've got the Joint Helicopter Command flying the Apache helicopter, and today it's uh, a farewell fly past for the uh, Mark I Apache. As they, because uh, I know recently they were having lots of uh, deliveries of the AH64E model Apache. Simon Pewey, how you doing? Oi oi, Ian Wright, oi oi. been pulled out at the moment. So yeah, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us, Simon Pewey. Hope you're good, man. But yeah, um, we've got uh, 
we've had two depart today which are joining the uh, farewell fly past and uh, if you want to know the history of the base uh, the airfield well we uh, did roll that out early in the morning check it out lots of uh, different types of aircraft and we've had the United States Army Air Force here with their P-51s and P-38s here first arrived with the Blenheims went straight into combat Ian Wright, enjoy your new patch. Nice one. It might be lunchtime for me as well in a minute. Food normally brings aircraft. Now, when this was going up and down earlier today, it meant aircraft. So, let's see. I hope so. Yeah, well, it was going up and down playing the horn in the morning and then half an hour the two Apaches went up lots of people saying one o'clock they normally go up have you been here before this is my i was going to go lately and i say that i wasn't yeah so i've never been here before okay so i was meant to put here strip of plus just in case but uh i work nights so i overslept this morning so yeah yeah because they're closed today good job you didn't go yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. although milton hall's got a bit going on yeah 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 they're they're, they're they're all the time they're an all the time base regardless of holidays they will have movements pretty much every day but, um, it may not be a lot but they've got a galaxy at the moment yeah i see that it's not like here you can hear anything warming up no i know at least it gives you a little bit of hope yeah Oh, just have one more tea, wait for one o'clock, and then we'll have a little break. Jimmy Pass. Oh, you're Jimmy. I'm oh, Jimmy what Pass. a pleasure. I've seen you at Lake Oh, quite what a an honour to meet you. Yeah. Nice one, thank you. Yeah, but I'm only three miles away. Oh, I was going to you. work That's... and I thought I'd drop you off some supplies. You legend, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, uh, I've seen you before, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I've stood behind you over at Lake Ning. 
Oh, sometimes thanks. it can be busy and sometimes it yeah. can be quiet. So, uh, oh, thanks. I really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah. You're in my local area. Oh, wow. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anything happened in the last half an hour? <laughs> Nothing's, happened. <laughs> Nothing's happened since the two left at 10 o'clock. Oh, no. Well, it was earlier than that, yeah, about 9. Like that, yeah. 9 o'clock, I think they went. Um, and nothing's happened since then. But then they can just take off and just do this. Yeah, oh, that's what I was hoping for. I'm glad I came because at the end of the day, everywhere else was just underwater. It was raining all day, so where they were supposed to go for the fly part. I was originally going to go to Shawbury, looked at the weather, and it was like, no. And apparently, according to the Army Air Corps, they cancelled one of the routes because of the weather. Which, are, it's, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was hoping at least I could see the two take off, which I got. I, I was even considering going to Lynham as well to see them go or, or go to uh, Middle Wallop, just somewhere. But it was all underwater, pretty yeah. much. So. Yeah, it's, it's always a bit hit and miss here. So yeah. There's loads and uh, How long did it take you to get here? Uh, about an hour fifty. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. I don't mind it. It was a nice drive. I love the drive here. We we went too long ago at this. All right, this, it's not yeah. far from yeah, here. No, it's not. It's just yeah, over there. I'm yeah. getting used to all the names yeah. and, and stuff. So yeah, so it was pretty cool. Did you come back? Sorry. Did you come back? Yes, yes, yeah. Now that I've, that I've come here, I would. You know, it, it could be low, no, not many movements because of the. I was doing that this morning, scaring the birds again. I think. Anyway. You're good. Oh, thank you. Doing Thanks for the time. rations, man. Right. Thanks yeah. so much. Have a good one, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll come down. Let me come down, mate. Oh, that is officially the bird, bird scarer, which is a good sign. That's a good sign. Is there anyone in the tower, can you see, with your... Because there was nothing from 12 to 1. There was no one in there. Um, and, and that...
to get the pictures as they're surfing around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've, it's got, great. The, you've got the when they turn on finals, on yeah. the finals they turn around there. So yeah, so I've, I've had everything from there from uh, the uh, Jackson Peak coming over, so I've had the nice. wax go over. So just my stuff. I haven't had anything like that when I'm down there, but when I sit on my back pool, yeah, you see more. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll carry on. Oh, no, you're fine. Thank yeah. you. And the food, thank you. Rations. That's yes. service for you, isn't it? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you got the same ones I get. Check you out. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Love it. Right, ladies and teddy bears, it's Ted Coningsby advert time. See you in a moment. No, not that one. I've lost my advert. There it is. <laughs> oh yeah. Lady Shits and Teddy oh, Bears, welcome you. to the Let's Ted Coningsby to channel membership. I'm Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members. Guns up and oh yeah. Take it away, Ted. Lady Shits and Teddy Bears. We want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country from as far as Lossiemouth to Bryce Norton and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centres and special flights for TED2. We cannot do this without your support and your support will be rewarded. You can now join the Ted Coningsby Squadron. We always say and that. We fund always the channel sure we to get us around the country. Yeah. And you know our channel. Yeah, how we do it. For equipment yeah. to bring you better content no too. <laughs> we have three what were you exciting doing, sorry? membership oh, levels with awesome well. YouTube really? perks yeah, to record you back. Really? Goodness me! Well, thanks again for that. Our first level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Squadron. You'll get a loyalty badge on YouTube. Unique TCS emojis that you can use on comments and live streams, members only videos which include behind the scenes, deleted scenes, sneak previews and also music videos that Ted likes to play the electric guitar on. You'll also get access to members only discord server and discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All of this for just $1.99 a month. Oh, our second level of membership is the Posh Officers Club. This includes all of the squadron perks, private Posh Officers Discord chat room, Posh Officers discounts on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise, and the poshness of supporting the TCS even more. This is just £4.99 a month. Our third level was inspired by many of our fans who have been supporting the channel massively. So we'd love to reward you back with this and our third level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron. This gives you a more personal experience with me and Ted with exclusive live streams and content. You'll get a free Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron patch, a private Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron Discord chat room, a gold color Discord username, and a higher discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All this for just $25.99 a month. Ladies, shits and teddy bears, the Ted Coningsby channel cannot thank you enough for all your support. And it's this support that keeps the dream, keeps the stream. Thank you so much. Oh, gear. What's this? What's it? Is it all for me? Oh, wow, thank you very much. That's so kind of you, thank you. Oh, Ted. Uh, we can put that on one of my bags, definitely. That's so kind of you, thank you. Uh, class protection for the world. Oh, that's the, 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 the blue line. The yeah. yeah, nice one, man. Oh, thank you. And that's, is that what, what you were... That's, that, that, that's yeah, you, it's um, quality protection. So, uh, UK's version of Secret Service. Is it? Oh. Nice, thanks, man. No that's a really, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, that is, that's going to go. It's, uh, it's not one you would get on the internet or anything. It's um, literally on the good itself. Oh, I shall look after that and I'll be framing that. A lot of these get framed. Yeah. Remembered. And I'll write down little notes. Thank you for that. That is so kind of you. Thank uh, you. Appreciate the channel. 
Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know where to go every now and then. That's it. Oh, that's going. good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because this is my first time here, and lots of people helped me. Um, they, they gave me the, the spots for here, and there was a bit where I mentioned over yeah. there. But obviously, can't see around there, and it's yeah. What's this thing? You go down the track. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fence. Yeah. People ask, can you get through? And you can. And that's good. I'd love the memorial there. It needs flags. I might go and uh, might chip in and get some flags. Is that a private road there then? I see, I see a lorry come out there about half an hour ago. Back up there, unless you've got the motorised access. Right, you can. There's no entry. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. You can see if you go to Milton or you go anywhere else, you go to the campsite there, you can walk up and down, <laughs> you go down the lane of the uh, lake and yeah, yeah. farmhouse, yeah. and you can walk across the fields. Amazing. I was just um, reading about the history and reading it out today. It's amazing. I heard, I heard. Amazing. The ma all the aircraft that were here was phenomenal. I didn't even know this was a QRA at some point either. There's loads of around here that are not in use anymore. It's yeah. derelict, but pivotal points they played over the last 50 years and the history of the Second World War was just amazing. Wow. What, what's your name? Sorry. Aaron. Aaron. Right, you're Aaron. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Aaron. Uh, Come on, uh, come on, what is she? Uh, he's trying to keep that. I know they're meant to do that all day, but this is quite aggressive. Yeah. Nothing's pulled out at the moment. So have you got the frequencies for here? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I've cool. got some of them. I've got. Uh, I've got. I've got the approach. Got tower, I've got approach. Okay, that's great. There's two approach channels. I've got director's channel. Okay. <laughs> and there's another one. It just it, on the on the online. It just said par. Oh, the PAR. Yeah. Okay, that's a type of approach. Uh, and that's the only ones I've got for the moment. Where are you looking at for the rest of the week? Uh, so I've got, uh, God, you got me there. Uh, Coningsby tomorrow, uh, Milden Hall Wednesday, Thursday Lake and Ethan, and Bryce Norton on uh, Friday. I seem to have some good times on Fridays at Bryce Norton, just to mix it up. Yeah, I haven't been up to Coningsby yet. It's, uh, it's oh, on the list. Fun. Oh, you laugh. But, but I'm, I'm thinking of taking my son up there because obviously it's Easter holidays. Yeah, yeah. Next week, the week yeah. after, so it might be a, a day out for me and him. Cool. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be nice. There's lots of spots up there. Mhm. Mm I see people stand up at the fence line on the on the approach path, almost getting blown over. But yeah, that's a no. Yeah, that even the uh, Royal Air Force um, site put something not to stand there. The red and white fence, not to go there. Because uh, not be funny. There's loads of places you could view there. Loads. Yeah. So many. We've got a little guide on our website. It's I did bit, have a look. It's a bit, you did? Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. I've it's a bit dated, but not a lot has changed other than the mound. I might do a rerun of that. I might redo the, might redo that guide, just the mound. You can't go there anymore. Um, it's shut off now, but, uh, but yeah, other than that, nothing's really changed. It's still there. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, they're coming out. They're what? coming out. Is it? Yeah, 12 o'clock to you. Got it. Oh, come on, they do get towed out. Here we go. 
Even just the one is enough. Any more bonus? Love it. Yeah. So I'm happy now. I can go home. <laughs> And be a pilot as well, man. Yeah. yeah, pilot as well. Yes! Come on! See how happy we are. It's only been towed out, and me and Aaron are getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny, though. Thank you gotta you. laugh at that. We've only seen it being towed out, and we're just excited like something went through the Mac loop or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Yep, yeah, crew pilot going in. Yes, come on. There we go. So it does get towed out. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ride! <laughs> oh yeah! Ted Coningsby channel live at Wattisham Airfield. How are we doing? Hope we're good. Army Air Corps. It's on. Captain A, how you doing, man? Hope you're good. Hope you're well, man. So this is the uh, AH64E model. This is the new style Apache, the new Mark, that's uh, replacing the ones that are carrying out their uh, fly past today the uh, mark one saying goodbye to them oh yeah yeah good mate yeah, good. Little helicopters about our helicopters for the very last three days yeah nice 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 one Every time it happens like that, that's why they're so safe, isn't they? Yeah, yeah, they, oh, absolutely. They train, they train, do yeah.
slow for it. A bit too late. There was not, sure, not even sure it was military then, but. Oh, is that is that another one? Or is that? Nah, it's the same one. Getting Apache here. Oh, the the little tug is going away now. Maybe, hopefully, it'll bring out another one. All right, I'll be right back. I just got to put these goodies away. How are we doing ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, Ted Connick Speed Channel, live here at Watersham Airfield, home of the Apaches, and welcome to the Army Air Corps, oh yeah, so hopefully we got, uh, we're going to have this one departing shortly. Too fussy just <laughs> we could do with more but just this one is good enough for now
Welcome everyone that's tuned in. Here we go, it's Apache time. We did it. Our, uh, our little gamble paid off. Yeah, the crow agrees. <laughs> Thanks a lot everyone that's tuned in. So it just looks like this single one at the moment. Hopefully it'll just do a load of circuits. That'll be great. That's what we want. <laughs> Claire Bear, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Hope it was good. Shut down. Was it just an engine run? Let's hope not. Pilot getting out. Pilot's got out. Well, at least we get to see an Apache now. <laughs> That's good.
okay. Pilot's walked off. Not a good sign. Oh no. Oh, there's another one been pulled out. Is that, maybe it's the way they prep them. Oh, look at this, another one. Two Apaches out now. Come on. Let's ride. Lady Shed Steady Bears, our debut at Watersham for the uh, fly past farewell return of the Apaches when they come back. ETA is 17.30 at the moment, but there's, according to the Army Air Corps, there's a plus 45 minutes, but with, um, with um, some of the routes that I've heard have been scrubbed due to the weather, this could mean on time or it could be late we just don't know at the moment but current eta is uh sorry eta now is 1815 for them but we shall see because like we just said that there have been some routes that have been scrubbed of the farewell fly pass due to the weather
<laughs> Thanks, Ian, for the info. The, uh, the farewell fly past at 14.30 the, uh, the Apaches are heading for uh, Shawbury or at least landing there at that time. Let's have a little nose on ADSB, see what we got. Time to get hay fever. <laughs> well, at least we know these potentially will be going out. Uh, gives us something to uh, enjoy. So if you just joined us, welcome Ted Coningsby Channel live here at Watershire Airfield. How are we all doing? We've uh, a good action-packed history lesson earlier today that we gave you about the base when it was uh, Royal Air Force Base with the arrival of the Blenheims in 39. That's right, 1939. The Bristol Blenheims arrived here and went straight into combat from here. And uh, between 42 and 46, United States Army Air Force, the 8th Air Force were here, P-51s and uh, P-38s were here too, acting as um, carrying out escorting fighter escort flights for the bombers to ensure their safety, to take out any, any attacks. Johnny B, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Damon Ed, how's it going? Mickey, how's it going? Hope we're all well. It's Apache time. work going on with these.
these are the elite fleet lady shenton teddy bears the apache attack helicopter can operate in all weathers day or night detect classify and prioritize up to 256 potential targets in a matter of seconds that's some that's some uh, firepower and battlefield protection that is that is simply amazing that is what it's capable of i mean i remember this on my uh i know you ready for this my mega drive is it a uh, desert strike i remember that do you remember that he does he does now i remember this from desert strike and jungle strike oh i fell in love with that thing you know the hellfire just pressing that button just to hear that <laughs> i'm glad you're here you agree i love that i remember it was my favorite game i used to love the when you put in the cartridge that that great rock music at the beginning down 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 pixelated oh yeah <laughs> Oh man, you remember, has anyone ever played that Desert Strike and Jungle Strike? I think uh, Jungle Strike, you could also fly the F-117, uh, one, F-117 or something, wasn't it? I think so, the Nighthawk, I'm sure you could do that. Oh, I used to love that at night, that was great. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, <laughs> the uh, Army Air Corps Apache AH-64, designed to find and destroy air defence units, tanks and armoured vehicles. Uh, it's a helicopter that has the utility beyond its primary role, capable of a wide range of battlefield tasks that include intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition and reconnaissance. Again, uh, I-Star. Think of Waddington with the I-Star. Uh, Escort Force Protection and Command and Control C2. Now, the Apache can operate in all weathers, day or night, and it's uh, significantly enhanced the Army army's air maneuver capability it is a lifesaver on the battlefield you wouldn't want to mess with this honestly you may think yeah fighter jets but uh, when you got this it's uh, it's time to yeah uh using the distinctive longbow radar located above the main rotor blades the apache can detect and classify right up to 256 potential targets display 120 of these to the crew and prioritize the top 16 threats that's amazing. And all in a matter of seconds, it carries a mix of weapons that include 30 mil chain gun, a 70 millimeter uh, rockets and Hellfire missiles, which I used happily on my uh, uh, Mega Drive. <laughs> and it can provide choice for commander and flexibility during the mission. I love that game. Uh, in addition to the longbow radar, the aircraft is equipped with optical and thermal imaging sites that are used to visually identify potential targets and pilot the aircraft at night in low visibility conditions. Uh, range and endurance can be increased using wing mounted fuel tanks as well, uh, which can provide a more persistent presence across a wider area. Uh, to, agree, to increase its survivability, the Apache is fitted with a state of the art, fully in integrated defense aid suite to protect the aircraft and crew. Well, there we go. In service from 2022, 330 kilometers per hour max speed. Uh, engines for those interested are two General Electric T700 GE 701Ds and their uh, turbo shafts. Did did he weigh 7,000, uh, 7, sorry, weigh 7,746 kg. Crew of two, radius of action 160 nautical miles. Height 4.72 meters, length 14.68 meters main rotor diameter is 14.63 armament 16 hellfire missiles 76 hydra 70 rockets and 1200 rounds of 30 mil cannon rounds <laughs> anything else do you want fries with that <laughs> <laughs> two Royal Marines, remember, back in the 2000s, they did that rescue mission, didn't they? They sat on the, on the mounts on the outside. Yes! To go and get their comrade. That's it. And they flew in with the two Royal yep. Marines. Oh, man. Incredible. Incredible. Yes. Oh, memories of this aircraft is amazing. Yeah, that was, that was, that was awesome, that. Just a case now for uh, waiting. And uh, while we're here, we'll do some guards marches. I just want to show show this special. Ted, what we got, mate? Got a couple of guards marches to do. Oh yes, in fact, we got a few.
So, as we know, as you know, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, we love our armed forces, all sectors, and I just want to show this. I want to get a Ted, look at that, mate. Look at this. So, thanks, Aaron, who served our country. Thank you very much. Aaron's down there, and he gave us this. Um, and I'm very, very honoured to have that. So thank you very much, Aaron. You're and uh, a guards march. We'll put. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we'll have that there. Look. Who also served in the in the police force as well, right? Yes. That's it, what yep. the. Yep. Yeah, okay, got it. Thank you very much, Ted. And a guards march for Aaron, who's here with us, and just want to say thank you for that. Thank you. Hello. And uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, who came to give us our supplies. Thank you very much, Jimmy Pass. Thank you very much, guards march for Jimmy as well. Thank you for coming along and giving us our supplies. That's so kind of you, both of you, thank you. Right, and we've got some more guards marches to do as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, thank you. Um, Hank for Huel, thank you for that. Thanks for the super chat, buddy. Hank for Huel, thank you very much for the super chat. Guards March for you. Thank you for that, it's very kind of you. Leslie Booth, member for six months. Congratulations on six months service, thank you. Fab Streaming, any chance of a group guards? Uh, I don't know if I can do a group one. Actually, haven't we done this with Reggie? <laughs> I think we've done that one. I think we, are you, hang on. Have we not done that one? Graham McRobber, oi oi. Thanks for the super chat, guards march. Um. <laughs> Tea time, a proper Brit, sick lid. Thank you for your super chat. <laughs> Interesting name there, thank you very much. But appreciate the super chat, thank you so much for that. Thank you, watching from the US, thanks a lot. Uh, Chris Bloxham, member for 12 months, here he is. Been an amazing 12 months. Uh, I've met so many amazing people. Thank you to all of the TCS members that make this channel. Please hit the like there now. Thank you very much, man. Thank you so much. Chris, I'm still laughing of when they, uh, when Reggie, got uh yens out and they just they 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 yeah they took him away to the kebab shop <laughs> it that meant in a nice way uh by the way um davy member for 13 months as well thank you i think we've done these but never mind have a guards march davy right how's our apaches doing probably doing what what happened in the morning they were there for a little bit and then they uh, took off yeah the, looks like the ground crew have left still got the remove before flight or the remove beret before flight <laughs> tag sadly still on at the moment uh, so so the, these might go out later I think Jimmy posted something, thank you Jimmy, that these could go out later on. It's not uncommon for them to go later, but we can hope. And for those asking, would we come here again? The answer is yes, definitely. It's definitely a good mix up.
Ted, you're looking forward to this, mate. Guess is when we see the crew, it's time to queue. Okay, we still have the tags on, so that's uh, they won't be going out just yet, then, but at least they're here. Thanks, uh, Watisham, for bringing them out. That's nice, thank you. <laughs> Saves me having it in the distance of uh, the water tower there. Uh, Michael Woodbridge, how you doing? Hope you're good. Yanni Scotties, thank you very much. Thanks for that, man. <laughs> for a lot of things. Thank you very much. Yanni Scotties, I'll get you a guard to march right now. Ted, where are you, mate? Thanks a lot, Yanni. Guards March. Thanks so much for the super chat. Thank you. So I'm just going to hold tight and just be patient like we have been all day. Apaches. God, they've got an impressive bow, haven't they? Impressive blades. Ted, isn't it? We'll have those biscuits and tea, I think. Mike Tutu Delta, thank you very much, man. Cheers for that. But Owen, how's it going? LEJ approach. Good, how you doing? Hope you're good, man. Miles Finn, hope you're good. Da -da 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 -da. Else 
we're gonna get. What's going on here now? Yeti, yeah, thanks for that. Over Melksham, I see it. The Yeti flight. Got it. Uh, thanks for all the battery check messages. I'll check them now. How are we doing? We are good. How many percent we got left on that? That's fine. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like it's running late. If that's going to land at Shawbury for 14.30 um, from there, I, I would imagine it will take about a good 50 minutes, maybe 45 minutes to get there from where they are at the moment, the Yeti flight. So yeah, it looks like they are going to carry on with Lionel, I think, and then just be very late, about 45 minutes, as the uh, post from the Army Air Corps mentioned. Be a long one, Ted.
diri Let's have a look, so it's that So he's potentially going to turn west for Lynham. Here they go for their fly past over Lynham, I say. Yep, just turning west now for the fly past over Lynham. Here we go. So if they're going to be at Lynham from there, that's. Uh, yeah, that they are running about 45 minutes late. Here it goes now, just about to uh, line up for Lynham. Here we go. So they are carrying on with the fly past at Lynham. So if you want to track it, Yeti flight in between Lynham and uh, Tockenham, as it's called, and it's just about to go right over Lynham right now. So the call sign for the fly pass is Yeti, for those interested, because there are a couple of other Apaches out there. There's a Gangster 67 and Panther 77. Um, they're not part of the original fly, they're not part of the fly pass, I know that much. Although, Gangster 67 is uh, sort of heading sh uh, Shawbury way at the moment, but obviously it's quite far away still. That could go anywhere. Ba -da -ba -ba -da.
Right, just gonna go and uh, have a little bit of break. And have a little bit of lunch and have a quick break, Lady Shins Teddy Bears, before uh, let's hopeful of a departure of these two. Should be nice. Be all good. Right, be right back.
Right. right. Do you know what the active is? Sorry? Do you know what the active runway is? Uh, 25. Right, thanks very much. Sorry, 2 3. Right. That one there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of Coningsby. 2 3, but it's that one. <laughs> Thank you. It's That's not good. Hey, bring back my Apache. What are they doing with my Apache? They're taking it away. Come back, my Apache. Oi. <laughs> Yeah. Then there was one. So they fueled it up and then put it back. Interesting. We got to see it, but there's still one left. <laughs> Come on, maybe it just wasn't meant to be that one. Oh dear.
Are you done now, buddy? Okay, oh. Oh, thanks, Aaron, for earlier. Thanks for that. I'll probably uh, see you on Wednesday at uh, Milton. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, that's where we're going. Sounds good to me. All right, yeah, time. you too, mate. Thanks. Good to see you, mate. Thank you. How are we doing, ladies and teddy bears? Hope we're all good. Are you alright? Yeah, good. Seen anything exciting? Only in the morning, just two Apaches went to do the fly past. That was it. Right. And that's it. Since nine. Yeah. That is it. They expect the jets, are they? Sorry? Is that right? They're expecting jets, is it? Oh, I, I don't know. I just. Right. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm just waiting for them to come back about half five, six. That's about it. Anything else is a bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chance Teddy Bears, hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby channel, live here at Watsham. How you doing? Hope you're good. Well, it's uh, it's been a long one today already, and with the concept of being here for another four hours, ouch. But hey, that's the nature of it. So hopefully, we'll get something in between. Yeah, take care, man. Yeah, that's the way it goes. So we had two being pulled out and one was uh, refueled and put back. commercial airlines just flying above at the moment. Skimming through in and out of the clouds. Uh, welcome to the show ladies, gents and teddy bears. Like I said, it, it was going to be a long one. I was hoping those two would depart, but hey, what we're going to do, eh? So we're here that was once uh, Royal Air Force Station, RF Wattisham. And, uh, of course, now it's not, it's now what is from airfield but uh, was a Royal Air Force station between 1939 and 1993 tons of history involved it's dating far as back as uh, 1939 
when uh, RAF Wattisham opened. It was uh, a medium bomber squadron uh, station. And uh, with uh, number two group in command with 107 and 110 squadron that were stationed here with their Bristol Blenheims. And were stationed here on the outbreak of war. That was number 83 wing. And uh, it only took a few, uh, not long, because uh, 4th of September 1939, just 29 hours after declaration of war, bombers from Wattisham took off on the first attack of the war. And it was against enemy shipping in uh, Wilhelmshaven. Wilhelmshaven Harbour. There we go. And then after that, it was a United States Army Air Force base. The Mighty Eighth were here as well. They designated it as Station 377 and Station 470. Not sure why it had two different station uh, designations, but uh, that's the way it is. They uh, began building the concrete runways. And uh, here you would have had the uh, P-38s. Again, they took part as well. The 479 fighter group. They arrived. It was part of 65th fighter wing with their P-38 Lightnings, again took part in Second World War. Consisted of the 434th, 435th and 436th fighter squadron, squadrons. The uh, 479th fighter group with their squadrons escorted heavy bombers during the operations against targets on the continent. And uh, they also had with them the P-51Bs, the Mustangs carrying out patrols so it's all Blenheims, it's all P-51s, it's all P-38s amazing but, uh, that was for a four year period because in 1946 the base was returned back to the Royal Air Force uh, when the uh, 266 squadron came here with the Gloucester Meter Air Freeze, they were stationed here. There was also uh, the Hawker Tempest Gloucester Meteor were here as well. And the Black Arrows display team of uh, 111 squadron. They operated out of Watcham as well, flying the Hawker Hunters. Amazing, can you believe that? So much here. Also, we had English Electric Lightnings as we start to go on to the Cold War era. Um, but just uh, just before that, the uh, Black Arrows Aerobatics Display Team Flying the Hunter moved here uh, from Northfield and uh, with air displays becoming a regular feature from 1959. So in the Cold War era then, in the 50s to the 60s, again, the station changed into a QRA, a quick reaction alert with uh, English Electric Lightnings. They were stationed here. So Wattisham became the QRA of the South, uh, which today Coningsby plays that role, Ted HQ. Oh yeah. So from 76 to 1992 then, uh, you would have seen Phantom FGR2s of number 23 fighter squadron. They replaced the Lightnings and 56 Fighter Squadron uh, followed on 9th of July arriving with their Phantoms from, our, from RAF Coningsby in fact. And uh, they saw a lot of interceptions so uh, it was not unknown for them to intercept the TU-95 Bear aircraft. They also based their Phantoms in the Falklands as well at Port Stanley. Uh, left the Firebirds as a sole base squadron as well here. On the 19th of October 1984, 74 squadron stood up at Wattisham equipped with the unique McDonnell Douglas F4J. It was a UK version Phantom uh, delivered in three batches. Brought up full strength for 15 jets on my birthday. Not the birth year, I wish it was, but uh, it was 5th of January 1985 when this happened. Lots of reformations going on as well. The 
disbandment of uh, the operational conversion unit for the Phantoms, that's 228 Squadron on the 31st of January 1991 at Lucas, saw the reformation of Phantom Flying Training as part of number 74 Fighter Squadron, and they operated until the 31st of December 1991. 56 uh, Fighter Squadron disbanded on the 31st of July 92 and they reformed as a uh, Tornado F3 operational conversion unit at Coningsby. So all the movements and moving around, um, you know, all play, you know, when we come to different places, it's amazing how they all link, link together when we come to certain places. Uh, not forgetting the Royal Air Force's uh, Westland Sea King search and rescue helicopters on the site in the former QRA hangars. Lots of uh, lots of history here, lots of history. And of course, it was uh, after its closure, it was then uh, turned into uh, an Army Air Corps base. And that's right. And it's uh, been there since 1993. It, uh, it's been operating by the British Army, which is what who's stationed here. This is not Royal Air Force here. And it's a Joint Helicopter Command Flying Station, Watersham. That's why sometimes you see FS Watersham, Flying Station Watersham, or, or another name for it, Watersham Airfield. And uh, it's home to the Army Air Corps Apache Attack Helicopter Force. Uh, it's got a helicopter repair facility provided by 7 Aviation Support Battalion. That's the uh, Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. 132 Aviation Supply Squadron. The RLC is also based here. And the fundamental part of the Apache side of things is part of 3 Regiment, 4 Regiment as well. And they make up part of the 1st Aviation Brigade Combat Team. Uh, with three, four and, uh, regiments flying the Apache, six regiment uh, have the headquarters squadron, 677 squadron as well, and as we mentioned, the, uh, the Remy, Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers as well. It's also, not to forget, 677 squadron Army Air Corps, the uh, Suffolk and Norfolk, Yeomanry, the Battery Royal Artillery Volunteers. It's part of 6th Regiment Army Air Corps as well. It provides ground support to the Apache Attack Helicopter and is paired with 3 Regiment Army Air Corps. And it provides ground support for the Apache aircraft. So ground support, JTACs, we've all spoken about them. Reggie does quite a lot. So yeah, unfortunately, it's been a very, very quiet day. Just the, very, just the two movements. So been going for five hours and our first movements were just the only two right from the beginning which was a very sunny day and now it's turned to a very cold afternoon so uh, yeah, potentially still got another four hours like this I think I would have thought but uh, nevertheless here we are Margo, how you doing? Hope you're good. Thanks a lot. Pan65, how you doing? Mef, Graham McRobert, oi oi, Johnny B, Alex Black Cat, Alex Pick, how's it all going?
So the Yeti flight, eventually, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's about 45 minutes late, isn't it? It's pre almost precisely. <laughs> um, there we go. That's the nature of it. Oh, it's getting a bit cold now. And uh, yeah, so we are at the lay-by. Thanks everyone that helped out to let us know where where we could go. This was one of the spots that we checked out. Thought, yeah, cool. Don't forget, just behind me there is uh, the memorial as well, the, the uh, Stone of Remembrance, I think it's called. How we doing? Oi, oi. <laughs> what can you do? It's one of those days. But the memorial's just there, by the way. Uh, there's no flags on it. They've gone. So it's a bit of a shame. I wonder if I can uh, supply some. Uh, how we all doing, ladies, gents, teddy bears, Ted Coningsby Channel, hoping and praying and crossing everything really hoping that the the apaches would take off but only the well two came out refueled one went back so not sure what's going on there uh, maybe it just wasn't happy or maybe they need to pull them out to refuel them here uh there we go uh so just a one on the main let's hope for some more come on At least we've got an Apache to look at there now. Brian, yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Watching the tracers, I oh, know it's amazing, isn't it? Thanks, Rebecca. Hope you're good. Thank you very much. Do -do -do. Oi, oi. <laughs> yes. Got a wave. Gotta love that. Getting lots of waves. Nice uh, Ted meeting the British Army there and now. Mind you, Ted's no stranger to the British Army. He has met the Army Air Corps before at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range uh, with the Wildcat when they did JTACs. So just the one lonely Apache there now. Come on, we'll just be going out. Be good if it does. So yeah, the ETA for them returning is uh, 1815. That's quarter past six. They're uh, just heading for uh, Shawbury now. So it's going to be a long one. <laughs> Hope they're on time. Hope there's no more delays. But we're looking at quarter past six to, uh, tonight for their return. Hopefully they do like a little fly pass. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, Michael uh, Michael Ricott, uh, bonjour from uh, Montreal, Canada. Have a good one. Are you good? Alan, yeah, the well, this one is uh, a 64, a new one, the uh, 64E version.
Do do What are we doing on the old bats? Bats are. Oh. That's a good sign that the uh, bird man's active. Hopefully lead to some movements. So yeah, that's the uh, bird scarer that you can hear, which again leads to movements. I don't know how, how much at the moment, we could do with some right now. We could do with an Apache doing some circuits, couldn't we? I'll just make up for everything. Ah, there we go. Avro Al, good question. What's been my longest stream? I don't think we've hit 10 hours, but I've got a feeling we might do it today. It's uh...
<laughs> getting some stats about my longest streams. Let's have a look. Nine hours and 44 minutes. Whoa, RF Hold Beach, 10th of October, 2023. Nine hours, 44 minutes, OMG. And we probably had more movements at Hull Beach as well, you know. Wow. Well, I knew it wasn't going to be... Uh, that was the thing, though. The, today was going to be about, what, let's... Let's, let's gamble, let's ride, let's take a trip, let's take a gamble on this, you know? And just, we just, all I was trying to achieve was get, hopefully getting any movements in between the departures of the two going for the fly pass between when they come back. And at the moment, <laughs> all we've had was two been pulled out and one been pulled back in, so, oh dear. Nevertheless, we hit some numbers though. Managed to get 44.8K and um, over a thousand likes and for those that are new don't panic it's not always like this it's not always this sort of rough you know <laughs> it's our first time here as well and anything could happen anything could happen at the regular places as well like Lake and Eve and you know what, if you I feel sorry for anyone that's gone to Lake and Eve today because it's it's uh, it's closed Milner has been pretty good today actually considering it's a uh, it's a day of fat uh, Sort of. But then I think it's just specific to uh, Lake and Eve, isn't it? I don't know what day it's supposed to be. Is it like some sort of family's day or a spring bank holiday or something? Or a spring holiday for them? But still, they gotta they got to carry personnel. People need to go to and fro, you know? <laughs> anyway. I'm here, I'm rolling, I'm going. Here we go. David Binch, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I hear Li Ming's closed for a good month or so. Uh, was that when Ted went up in the walker? Um, what, yeah, hang on, what? It could have been, you know, could have been. Could have been. It's gained some time back here. It's uh, still not quite at uh, Shawbury yet. It's almost there. So at the moment, currently it's 22 minutes late. So it's not quite 45. So has, has it missed anything out? That's the thing. So good times in some ways. Good times for us. Hopefully it goes on time and gets here at... Uh, that me oh, that's all right. Two and a half hours does it seem so long now. <laughs> God, I could do with some sort of movement on the ground right now. I could do with some sort of circuit. Come on, Watersham, come on. We've come to see you. in the base there is another fire and rescue truck
Oh yeah, 10th of October, 2023. That's when Ted went up in the uh, in the Chinook and was with seven squadron, the Special Forces squadron. And uh, Ted fired 7,500 rounds. <laughs> Fair play, Ted. Nice one. Well done. So Ted, Ted flew twice in the uh, Chinook last year. Uh, one in an actual display at Riyadh on the Sunday last year and uh, one uh, firing mission at Hull Beach Air Weapons Range. Amazing. Nice one, Teddy. That was pretty good. Hey, oi. You alright, don't know, we doing wrong, don't know. My name's Reggie, part of the RAF Regiment. This is my type of thing around here. I like new bases, new places. It's all good around there now. Part of the RAF Regiment. My name's Reggie, there now. That's how I do it around there, there now. Just making sure the perimeter's all checked, sweet and neat around there now. Man, no pretty little planes today for you there now, isn't it? There now. Got these, uh, these funny looking choppers there now. But I like this, my type of thing. These are these are good on the battlefield there now. You know? They're like search and strike type of helicopters there now. That's how the choppers do it there now now. That's right, I love I love choppers. I love me choppers, because you can like um hang out with your shirt and done there now with a gold chain round here. You know? That's right, you can hang out with the leg out there that helicopter there now. Shirt and done. Although I don't think my boss is gonna like that. I better go. I'll be in trouble. And that's how I do it around. That's how the regiment do it around. We're never alone in the regiment there now. Forward, back, back, kick. You're right there now. What are we doing around here though? Yeah, what are we doing around here at Washington there now? I know, where's all the pretty little planes? Oh, do you know whatever now? We're just there looking at these there. Uh, Funny looking choppers. Ah, oh, funny looking choppers. Oh, I like funny looking choppers. Yeah, they're good there now. Yeah, I know they're now. They're good round here. Yeah, that's right there now. That's how we do it round here. Part of the regiment, we like working with these. These are good on the battlefield. They help out, give us a hand, innit? Yeah, I know. I know they're all good, but that's what we do in the regiment. We make sure the area is all cleared and secured with these pretty little planes and funny looking choppers. That's how they do it round here now. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing tonight, Reggie? Oh, I'm having chucking. Oh, I'm having chucking and all. Yeah. It's all good round here now. Oh, look, look, he's keeping it sweet and neat, isn't he? Look, look at him. Yeah, he's all good, isn't he? Yeah, he's all good round here, Reggie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm having chucking as well. Yeah, is that what we having tonight? Chucking. Yeah, I'm having chucking. We're both having chicken. Yeah. Both chicken. We're both chicken. Yeah, that's right. Both having chucking tonight. Yeah. We're both having chucking in the kitchen. We're both having kitchen with the wife. We're both having kitchen in the kitchen we're both having chicken with the wife Doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah that sounds good there now i like that one we'll have to see that next time yeah what about valentine's day sing that to the wife in it there now yeah i think we should do that there now we're both having chicken in the kitchen we're both having kitchen with the wife both having chicken yeah we don't use a knife we're both having chicken, we just opened our mouth. Well, there they are. Yeah, that's how we do it around there now. Right, let's go and get some chicken. You make me hungry there now. Where can we go around here? It's a bit like, you know, lost in the woods around here now. Yeah, I feel like home around here with all the woods and that there now. Well, uh, there's bound to be a kebab shop somewhere there now. Well, uh, is it KFC? I don't know. Let me have a look over here. Come on in, let's go and find some chicken. Uh, apologies for Reggie uh, with his top there now. So yeah, just what, half an hour late, would you say? Half an hour? Well, it's better than 45, I'll take that. Every minute counts here, you know?
<laughs> yeah, Reggie, you know how Reggie is, you know how it is. <laughs> He's a bit of a legend, isn't he, bless him. And his mate Reggie. One, I think with the most we've had is four Reggies in one go. That was uh, that was a lot of Reggies. It does two Reggies equals trouble. That's the regiment, mate. They're they're in the they're a law to themselves. They do their own thing. So it looks like the fly past is just complete now and it looks like they're coming into land now at Shawbury. Actually that could make them 45 minutes late actually. Because they still haven't quite landed yet. They've still got to land, taxi back, get, get fueled up and then come back. There and all. But yeah, thank you very much everyone that's tuned in. Right, just got to do a back check. Hang on. Yeah, not long yet. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to just, uh, I don't see the point now in just cutting this off now. I might as well just ride it out. <laughs> thanks though for joining me. I know you could have done a lot of things today, but uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in on this very long stream of, uh, well, mind you, the bears are going to sort it out in a minute. You've got the bird man going up and down. We'll call him the bird man. He hasn't got AWC written on it. Oh, hello. Hello, what's this? Yeah, give me, give me some action, come on. Come on, please, army. Come on, British army. Be the best and all that. Come on, please. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mock, I'm just saying. We just want a little bit of chopper action now. But mind you, their motto is be the best, isn't it? British army. It's first, uh, our debut at uh, Whitesham. It was meant to be Shawbury today, but uh, I wonder what the weather's like in Shawbury. I wonder what it's like. But yeah, this is a good lesson again for those that are planning to come here or any other sort of military area. This is potluck, my friends and teddy bears, ladies, gents. It is potluck because that's the nature of it. But uh, but yeah, if anyone's at Shawbury, what's the weather like? Is it bad? Or is it wet? Seems to be just wet on the west side of the country. Tattooed cyclist, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this is a pretty cool little place, isn't it? If you know, it's a good spot, nice and relaxed. It's um, pretty good, you know. And if we had movement, yeah, it would be uh, it would be brilliant. A lovely little spot, nice and well. I shouldn't say quiet at the minute. <laughs> you never know. But this looks promising. Come on.
So there we go, lots of checks being done right now, ladies and gentlemen. Teddy bears, all is good. Hopefully this amounts to a departure. done right now look at this oh, oh. who'd have thought turquoise for the interior of that look at this oh, oh. that's pretty cool I'm not sure if this is part of a pre-flight what you can stand on that can you sweet This ladies, gents, teddy bears, Ted Connors B channel live here at Watersham Airfield or oh, fighter station, flying station, uh, Watersham. He said fighter station there, flying station, Watersham, also known as Watersham Airfield, home of the Apaches. And the uh, if you uh, need updates, the Apaches landed at Shawbury not too long ago, about uh, what do you reckon, about 10 minutes ago. So We'll see, they're about, I don't know, would you say half an hour late? So that puts them at six o'clock if they're going to run on that schedule. <clears throat> Let's find out. So we had, to, so in between the departure, <laughs> all we've had is two Apaches been pulled out and then one got fueled and then took back. And this is one's just been left. So let's see what's happening here. a maintenance routine perhaps or we're we gonna get a departure out of it but for the
for those that wanted Wattersham, here we are, we did it. And uh, it was uh, plan C of all our plans. <laughs> well, plan C and a half or something, because uh, there was a lot of, uh, due to the weather, we decided to come here instead in Shawbury. Which was probably the better idea as far as weather's concerned. Yeah, Alex, no problem. I'm just going to be mindful of uh, being Good Friday. I will just check the NOTAMs just in case uh, it decides to close. I'll have a look around, but we'll see. But yeah, all is good. Come join. Be good. Be good fun. Don't forget to bring a stepladder. You'll need one. So yeah, they're just doing, uh, I don't know, this looks like some uh, checks at the minute. sure what that's going to amount to at the moment hopefully departures I mean the remove uh, before flight tags are on the RBT tags or RBF tags hey there man all right How's it going? It's bad. Good. Yeah, it's been dead today. Really? Yeah. Just the two that departed at nine and that's it. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. They have been flying a bit later actually. Yeah. Yeah, well two come out and then one got uh, put back. So it was a bit disheartening in some ways. We're only five minutes down the road. So oh yeah, oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, no, just, just, just the two that went and hopefully they'll be back at half five. But they are running late, so possibly six. <coughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're doing a lot of checks on this at the minute. Um, I'm hoping they're, they're pre-flight checks. When's the farewell flight for the Apaches? Sorry? When's the farewell flight? Oh, it's today. They that, that, have two left here and joined with the older ones. Right. And they're now at Shawbury this minute. They're getting refueled and hopefully on their way back soon. But like I said, ETA for that is between half five and six. Yeah, yeah. So they won't be here then. <laughs> we'll watch it. Yeah, we'll good move. We'll probably see him come over. I think. Yeah, it was really nice weather this morning. Really, really nice in the morning, and it's just like a little bit colder now, but it's all right. It's not too bad. Doing loads of checks on this, removing loads of compartments, opening them. Do you hear about the A400 here the other day? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, we thought we were going to get one as, again today, but nah. There is, there is talk that they, if, a, if the runway stood up to it, that they're going to do it in the future. So. That'll be good. But yeah, it came three times in here. Sorry? It came three times. Did it? Oh, right, yeah. cool. Yeah, I saw a post about that. That looked pretty good. Yeah. We saw it the last, oh, I saw it the last time. <laughs> now, now what they're doing, let's have a look. Uh, opening every every compartment there is to this at the moment. Doing a lot of checks. It's a light line as well. Yeah. safety is the number one so if that's part of it I don't know what exactly they're doing there seem to be opening every compartment and checking look at this oh well at least you get to see the checks and ground crew in action look at this
is when we start to see those uh, removed before flight tags, that would be a good sign. Very, very thorough checks, and that's that's a good sign. Very good. Well, at least we get to see this the whole process. Helmet going on or on at least. What's this? Oh, it's just a little engine run. Yeah, they're shut Friday again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. I, I've put. I'm going to Fry's Norton on Friday, but I've, I totally forgot it's Good Friday, so I'm not sure if they're flying. So I need to be mindful of that. Could be a short week. <laughs> okay, so the Wizzo is. Uh, he's got his helmet on as well. Well, we'll call him the Wizzo. Do they call it the Wizzo here in the British Army or the uh, the Gunner? Or is it Gunner? Anyone? Oh, actually, Wizzo or Gunner or weapons officer. Is that right? The pilot's in the back? Have I got that right? Pilot in the back of uh, the Apache and the, the gunner, shall we say, at the front. Is that right? Anyone know? Co-pilot, thank you co-pilot at the front then right and then the the main pilot at the back is that correct cool thanks Jake yeah I thought so the Apache the main pilot at the back and the okay co-pilot I wonder if they both then uh, fire mind you the pilot in the end ultimately does the does the main it's cleared to go hot but front seat can fly it too yeah a bit like the uh, the Wizzo and the F-15E Strike Eagle they can both fly it I didn't know that until I was looking into it because someone asked me the question and they can not that they would ever do that in combat uh, I guess for um, transit flights and long flights probably take the yeah At the moment at this stage it doesn't look good with the tag still on so not sure not sure if it's just gonna be like a just an engine run the tags are still on I can see one but, uh, we'll see I mean there were thorough checks very thorough checks
come on, have we gambled nicely and got one in between? That was my goal between the very start of the stream to the end. We can have at least one movement. I'll be happy with that just to see, just to see another one. Come on. Uh, just give me a shout when the Apaches leave uh, Shawbury. If anyone can remind me of that, that'd be great. Keep a lookout of that. So we're well, knowing how you doing. Mind you, that sucks. That's a, not a bad shout. Uh, someone said that they'll start the engine before they remove the tags. It's a bit like the F-15s when they taxi down. They have the engine started and then they pull the pins out. Need tags removed before flight tags. Here we go. They got. Looks like they got the uh, ear defenders on. Oh, hello. Check this out, man. This is cool, though, isn't it? That must be a nice buzz for those at Shawbury flying the Junos to see the Apaches there. As a, I've always said this, even when we go to Cranwell, when they see like the fighter jets and uh, other aircraft to give them that, and the Red Arrows to give them that inspiration. And I think that's really important. I think that's such a good thing uh, for them to see the Apaches to say, yeah, that could be me one day. Um, I think that's an awesome thing. That must be such a great buzz. Nice memories there, Harriet M. Fun memories flying in a tutor at Withering about 10 years ago and having an Apache taxi right in front of us and take off. Nice.
right let's do this come on time to get the teds let's get the teds come on get them out let's go dr soda get the teds out david bench get your teddies let's do it come on Thanks a lot, Davey. David Binch, Dr. Soda, thank you very much. Uh, terrifying, how you doing? Alex Blackcat, nice <laughs> nice try, love it. Uh, Mayhem Marshy, Colin Scrim. Darren Parsons, thank you. Living the dream, Mark Joyce, how you doing, man? Great to see you at Watcham today, Mark Joyce. Looks like it's been a quiet day. Watcham is normally busy, but as we always say, it's hit and miss with airfield activity. Also stream again, thanks a lot, man. David Binch, thank you. Marco Baxter, living the dream. I'm playing guy, Captain A, SR71 Blackbird, Avro Al, Chris Blocks, and Rebecca. How you doing? Paul Burrows, Justin Edwards, how you doing? Uh, Val Lissy, thank you. Margot Baxter, Graham McRobert, loads of you. Bakey, Bean, Davey, Michael L, Donna Harbour. <laughs> Chris Austin, hey Abu Sonata, Paul Heesman, Julie UK, thank you very much, here we go, come on, Lisa Louise, how you doing, come on, Robert Owen, how you doing, we are very patient for this, I hope they know how long we've been waiting for, I know, I know, they're doing their job, I get it, I know, but uh, always, always fun, it just makes it worthwhile, and it just makes you appreciate when you see something thanks Steve Broughton thank you very much thank you very much best channel out there thank you LC how you doing Billy Webster my dad said hi he's a big fan hello to your dad Billy Webster whoo yeah come on Margot how you doing girl hope you're good Get ready, let's have some chopper action in it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, bit of flashy flashy. Is that the flashy flashy? Yeah. <laughs> here come off the tags I think they're coming off now aren't they it moves <laughs> finally oh give it some come on Please convert this into some form of departure. Oh yeah. Listen to this.
Oh, this looks good. Pins are off. <laughs> oh, it's moving. Come on. I feel a bit rusty. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing here. What's this button do? Hang on. I think I got it. Is that how you record it? Hang on.
awesome.
We don't get that at Disneyland Paris.
awesome, eh? Who's loving this? I thought it was going to be a departure, see you later. It's not. It's a, hello. I'm going to be a wow. I'm not sure what this is. Is this like a, a, pi a, a pilot of the old Mark 1, perhaps? Um, testing out the controls? It looks like some sort of, like a test ride. If anyone knows what this is, let me know, because it's uh, not something I've seen before. So yeah, is this like a, a new uh, a new pilot or uh, a pilot of the old Mark Ones? I'm getting lots of messages now, so I'm not sure what that means. But yeah, it's quite nice that it hasn't gone, like you know, departed and gone on its sortie. It's uh, staying here, which is pretty cool. We get to s <laughs> makes up for all all day, doesn't it? It makes up all day. It's like it's doing almost not quite circuits, but it's staying around doing. Uh, Lots of different things, which is quite nice, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let me just uh, give my legs a little break for one second. Let me just, uh, I do like, for those that are shocked, yes, I do everything handheld, pretty much. I've actually lost the Apache. Hey, where have you gone? Oi, oi, how you doing? All right? Very good, thank you. Good times. <laughs> good times. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure. Right, so it's gone behind those uh, trees, so that's good. I can have a little break. Standard training. Cool, thank you very much. Oh. All right there, Captain Lou, it's you. Yes, it's me, man. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, All right. Very good, thank you. Good Did times. You bring a petty with you? Yeah, he's here. Yeah, he's Is here, we? mate. Yeah, he's here. Of course he's the main star. Your little... <laughs> he's the main star of the show, man. Yeah, can I just borrow it for a minute, just to get a few shots? Yeah, I can have him on Selfie. the screen, mate. Here you go. There, there you go. Hang on, hang on. Let me get this. Yeah, get a close up. I can't believe it. Because <laughs> you're not. Oh, 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 hang on. Am I on there? You? Uh, no, you're not. Uh, no, you're not on there, mate. <laughs> because I was you, out looking for daffodils. <laughs> you were out looking for daffodils, and now you found Ted. <laughs> yeah. It is Easter. <laughs> 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 Daffodils and Easter Ted's. It's well, the Easter Ted's. The bloom was so disappointing. I said, what am I going to do now? I thought, I've got to unleaven them on Long Melford. And okay. I thought, oh, I haven't been down here for a while because I'm quite fairly local. Yeah. And I thought, well, something's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no worries, lovely. no worries. So how are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Yes. So that was all good. So the Apache's just gone behind the trees and bushes and foliage, but nevertheless, it's been worth it. We were treated to that. We've had nothing since half past nine until now. That's a long way. However, ladies, shenton teddy bears, that made up for it because I thought it was just gonna depart and that was the end of it. But uh, we were lucky enough and fortunate enough to have uh, training um, with all the controls. That's cool. I don't know much about it. I'm going to do some research to find out. It looks like some sort of uh, standard training for a new pilot, perhaps. I don't know. I'm going to have a look at the chats now. Let's have a look. Nope. I've been getting messages. Right, he's coming back. Easter Ted, immediately better than Easter Bunny. Exactly, the Easter Ted's. They come out. Uh, it's coming back, Billy Webster, thank you. Yeah, I can hear it now. Let's get ready. Oh, this sounds good. Here we go. Ted Connorsby channel live at What I Show, how we all doing? <laughs> Where are you? That's made up for uh, <laughs> the uh, the whole quiet period, ladies, shits and teddy bears. Hang in there. Thank you. Best things come to those and all that. That was good. Like I said, I was just expecting it to depart and that was it. And we wouldn't see it again for like an hour or two. But that, oh, it's over here this time. It's just beyond there. Let me just turn this round. And, uh, Hopefully it'll come round, that'll be great. Nice of it to do circuits. Oh, 
welcome to the real world desert strike <laughs> if you remember that game on the sega mega drive amazing It's gone out of sight for a minute. Let me just uh, give my uh, my arms a break because uh, they've been uh, out of use for a while, haven't they? <laughs> oh, I, I can see it now, but it's quite far away. But uh, nevertheless, let me get let me bring that round there now. All the way down there, there now. See if it's uh, when it comes back, lady sheds the teddy bears. I'll oh, get that on there now. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Keep an eye on that on ADSB. Let's have a look, lady sheds the teddy bears. That was uh, that was good. Bet Reggie's loving this. He is. Kimmy Bear, how you doing? Bjorn Danielson, how you doing? 939, if you watching? Oh yeah, that got you some attention. Meth, Kimmy Bear, Davey Mayhemarshi, how you doing? Mayhemarshi, how you doing, man? Hope you're well, dude. Hope you're good. Christopher Carr, Cheyenne. Hope you're good. Rebecca, Ian Wright, Davey, David Jackson. Best game ever. <laughs> oh, I love that game, man. Desert Strike was just the best. Dun Jungle Strike was good. Uh, if I'm, I'm right, and I in Jungle Strike you got to fly the F F F one one seven Nighthawk. I'm sure it was that, and you had to do night missions. Oh, it was so good with the little flares. Oh, I love that game. I used to turn off all the lights when I was a kid, and just um, play that. Love that game. Absolute incredible game. Well, there we go. We were treated, ladies, shen to teddy bears. Um, I'll just uh, keep an eye out for it. Hopefully we get some uh, more. Right, any news on Yeti flight? Let's find out, ladies, gents and teddy bears. Let's find out. Thank you. It's coming round. And finals, let's have a look. Where are you? Yeah, just coming in behind me now. Lovely, let's go.
Nice, yeah. Such a distinctive, iconic silhouette that, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Ted would need a ride in this, definitely. Lady Shenzhen Teddy Bear. Sorry, excuse me for that, sorry. I'll tell you what I'll do if it's, where is it? All right, give me one sec. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just quickly, just do a quick bat swap, just to last us for the rest of the day while it's disappeared in the distance. I shan't be too long. Do a quick bat changeover. Always good to get them ready, just in case the, uh, the arrivals are a bit late. trees at the minute. should turn on finals. Total bus formation flying around six o'clock. Did you know about that? Yes, it's coming back. Ah. It's, at, it's at Shawbury at the minute. All right. Yeah, should be back soon. Six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> 
How we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Ted Coningsby Channel live here at RAF. Oh, done it again. Former RAF Watersham. It's now <laughs> Flying Station Watersham. Maybe I'm trying to say something. Sorry about that, British Army. Uh, <laughs> it's a habit. It's my first time debut. Right. Thanks, Matt. One engine start at Shawbury now. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be about half six, isn't it? They're still on the ground at the moment. No sign of Yeti. They'll be here. Right, where's, uh, where's our guy for the moment? Army Air Corps 606. That's a ZM724 for those interested. It's been treated to a lot of circuits, which is great. So it's gone out, uh, gone out by Stowe Market. How are we doing, ladies, gents, and teddy bears? Hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby Channel live here. How are we all doing? Hope you enjoyed that. That is uh, awesome, man. Hope we're all good. I'll just get our squadron leader on as well. Um, wow, look at that, eh? Patience pays off, right? That is all good. And for those that have joined us, my name's Nikos, and this is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. I'm your cameraman and commentator today, and squadron leader Ted Coningsby is enjoying the British Army, the Army Air Corps. Isn't that right, Ted? I oh, know, he's enjoying that. Ted, you... <laughs> Barry came off at the last minute. So uh, we're just uh, enjoying it. It's, it's been a long day, but that was worth it because, like I said, I thought this Apache was just going to take off and go, and then that was it, but, and then be short-lived. But no, we were rewarded to a what looked like an air test, a flight test, or some, some testing, some training, I'm not too sure, but it looked like some form of test, which is great. Absolutely magnificent. Everyone's, uh, everyone's uh, been messaging me. Thank you all for your support. I'll check out all your messages when I get back home later tonight at some point. <laughs> um, but yeah, just looking out for the Apache. I'm going to go on ADSB now. Keep hitting the like and do subscribe as well if, uh, if, you haven't, if you haven't done so already. Join us and don't forget to hit that notification bell button, ladies, gents and teddy bears. It's good. Let's ride. <laughs> all right, let's have a look where the Apache's gone to. Right, that's all good. Checks are done. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's just coming back now on final, just lining up. Ready for runway two, three, let's go. There we go.
slow it down a little more, Schwab. There we go. 120, let's go 120 and then just the. Uh, I'm sorry, going a bit wobbly at the minute, I know that. I'm just uh, trying to adjust things with my fingers here and all. Right, let's have a look. The, should be a lot more smoother now. There you go, there and all. Tell you what, it's going to be a nice sky when they return. Hopefully it's not in pitch black and pitch darkness when they come back. That's my only fear. Right, sunset is 18.17. Or thereabouts. not a good sign they are very late I think they were supposed to depart about what quarter two no half three was it anyone remembers if anyone's got the original times when they were meant to depart How you doing? Good to see you, man. Thank uh, today. That was brilliant. Yeah, they sound like they're an, over an hour late. So thanks, Craig. Quarter to, quarter to four. And it's quarter to five. And they departed the yet? What? Oh man. Well, these things happen.
so I'll probably go again out to Stowe Market. Cashis return. They finally lifted from Shawbury. Right, they are late by an hour. So we're looking at half six now, their arrival here. That's fine, we still will have, uh, it'll be 10 minutes after, 10 minutes after uh, sunset. So yeah, so if they've just departed now, at this stage. But yeah, like I said, exactly, uh, someone mentioned that as well. It's, it, like I said, it is, it is as good as having more departed um, this because at the end of the day, we, we've seen it for a lot longer. It was doing all its tests. It was brilliant, that. Really, really good. We'll just keep an eye on it at the moment. It's, uh, it's gone out quite far out now and uh, should hopefully turn back on final. Yeah, uh, it's gone out by uh, Stow Market, so should turn around again. Give us a bit more of a bit more action, hopefully it'll be a bit lower. turning around now behind me right in the distance let's go how we doing ladies shanty teddy bears hope we're all good
Yeti flight just over Litchfield at the moment. Come on. Matt Foster, take care. See ya. MC Mark, how you doing? Dave Finch, how you doing? Ian Wright, oi oi, Jonathan McDee, Rebecca Nick Ward, oi oi, Chris Bloxham, Donna Harbert, Davey, Mayhem, Marshy, Meth. How's it all going? Bakey Bean, wow, that was really worth the wait. Indeed it was actually, in the end, you know, um, it could have just taken off and that was it, but this was worth it, getting all these circuits in, absolutely incredible. All is good, oh yeah. Thanks a lot, Ian. Right. <laughs> oi, oi, Nikos, you've done such an amazing job this afternoon. Thank you very much. It's another long one with a two-hour journey home, but that's fine. Like I've always said, when you've had a good day, there's it's the drive home is a nice drive home. Uh, Craig Bruce hoping to see the fly pass from his garden. Dave Binch fancies cheeseburgers. That is a great idea. I might stop off at McDonald's a lot. Actually, yeah. I'll get I'll grab a McDonald's along the way. That sounds amazing. <laughs> John Minter, I totally know the feeling. I've got the tune in my head. Down 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 strike. Absolute amazing. Just like that, comes to a halt.
had the it's had a bit some biscuits and then I found some fish and chip um, crisp things. You know those fish and chips sort of biscuit crisps is the best way. What they they're like I don't know, they're not crisps, but they're not biscuits. You know, <laughs> you know the ones I mean. <laughs> fish and chip biscuits. <laughs> doesn't even sound great but yeah you know what I mean <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> they were destroyed man they were killed they gone The retro, I oh, know. Hey man, how you doing? I'm all good. Um, <laughs> oh right, so Yeti, where's Yeti? Yep. So Market Bosworth, come on. It's heading back, which is good. It's been a long one, hasn't it? <laughs> No, oh, I've enjoyed it though. I really have. I really have. I've got one cup of tea left. No. Yep, one cup of tea. Yeah, thanks everyone that's uh, tuned in today. It's been uh, it's been great fun. It, see, when you get that one, just one movement in that long space of time, you just forget how long you've actually been here. Um, it's the same with low level, low flying, and whole beach, that kind of thing. You know that that moment when you've seen something, it's incredible, and you just forget. Some guys want to wave at hangar free. Oh, there's someone running. Is this the hangar free crew? No. Well, I'm going to wave anyway. I'm waving. I don't know where they are. Oh, hello. Where's he going? <laughs> Bye. LEJ Approach, thank you very much for gifting a Ted Coningsby membership, Guards March. Thank you very much, Gerd, from Germany. Uh, Sel, we're knowing this shows that other streams aren't Apache on Ted Coningsby. <laughs> Sel, we're knowing, my man. Thank you very much. Let's ride. Guards March. Thank you very much. Uh, Margot Baxter, for your dedication, resilience and stamina. Another legendary Ted Coningsby stream. Thanks very much, Margot Baxter. Guards March for you. And uh, finally, uh, we got uh, Robbie Adventures on a mobility scooter. How you doing? Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Guards March for you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, and uh, Ginger Bailey, how you doing? Dedication to duty from our TCS crew again. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ginger Bailey. Thanks, Julian. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah. Oh, that was a good one. I don't know what Ted was doing there. Right, let's see what's going on with some sort of movement. There's people shouting at Hangar Free, I think, but uh, I can't see anyone just yet. But I'll tell you what, there is some sort of uh, movement down there. 
There are no. We'll have a look at Hangar 3 in a minute. Well, I'm waving at Hangar 3. I'm going to wave. There we go. I didn't see anyone at Hangar 3. Unless. And where are they? What's Hangar 3 doing? Yeah, there's no one at Hangar 3. Right, back to this. Let's go. Well, big shout out to Hangar 3. <laughs> There we go. If they're watching, how you doing? I've missed you. Maybe they've gone in that Bowser. group of guys on the grass. Oh, the wash bay's in the way. Hang on. Where's the wash bay? Is that a wash bay? I don't know what that is. That looks cool. Right, anger free crew. Carl, where are you? Finding Josh, isn't it? How is Josh? How's he doing? Hi. Hi. So originally they were supposed to be here in eight minutes time but they are about an hour late so let's hope we get to see them i tell you what the sky might be on our on our uh, on our side it could produce some lovely colors i don't know we'll see Hiya, you all right? How's it going? You good? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, amazing, thank thanks. You follow you. Thank you. That's good. Where is he? Where's Ted? Ted, Ted's here. He's just, uh, he's just had his salmon. Oh, well, excellent. Nice healthy uh, diet. Oh, of course. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's what bears eat, isn't it? Oh, there's <laughs> 
<laughs> he's, he's, he's all good. Yeah, he's smart. He's a sensible one. The others, uh, you know, they like, like to keep us all entertained and Absolutely. stuff. You know how it is. Yeah, cool. You, you here for the fly past? Absolutely. Good times, good times. Really? Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Good, good, good. How you all doing? Everyone all good? Ted Connie Speed Channel live here at Watershire Airfield. Yes, I didn't say RAF in front of it. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. I didn't do a part one and two, just went with it and... Uh, um, like an air test I guess I, I'm not really sure I, I, I saw loads of messages um, but I'm on the chats now if you'd like to uh, just uh, let me know what that was all about was it a new pilot do you think or was it an air test in fact I could just go on to the um, mods are we doing spanner flight as it all going Oh, thank you air test that's awesome oh did i just miss the apache while looking at adsb <laughs> oh he come back with my apache that was hilarious oh well bit of ted cam for you i love this bit look at that looks like a tire isn't it just sort of about seeing Apache in there. In fact I can probably I can see make out about two. Mm, check that out. Yeti flight is just above Desborough at the moment. Slowly making its way. So, hopefully within the hour, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears. Thanks a lot, British Army, for that. Thank you very much. If you just joined us, Ted Coningsby Channel, awaiting the uh, farewell fly past of the Apaches. I believe there's just four of them now. It was originally supposed to be eight, but I believe it's just the four. The 
or above Desborough at the moment. Ladies, shins and teddy bears. Hopefully they do not knock a nice fly past before they land. Hiya! <clears throat> you know, you know. Yeah? Hey, you alright? You can say hello if you want. <laughs> no worries! Ian Wright, how's it going? <sighs> It's going to be a long week. <laughs> I will keep uh, my eye out on what, what the deal is at, uh, at Bryce Norton for Easter, uh, Good Friday. Um, yeah, I didn't even realise it was Easter this week, um, like Good Friday. I had no idea. Captain A, how you doing? Hope you're good. Christian Rosenquist. Oi, oi. Oi, oi to you, man. I hope you're good. Dee -dee -dee -dee. How we're doing on the old uh, subs there? 44.85. Oh, my goodness, mate. Just 148 to go. Wow. Thanks a lot, Ian. I'm glad you're loving it. Shame it wasn't as busy as what we were hoping to be, but that doesn't mean we're not coming back. We are coming back again here. It's uh, It's been a great stream. Um, we've had a good time. Um, we were treated to that air test. That was great. Absolutely phenomenal, that. And that was good. Robbie Adventures on a mobility scooter. Is it still wet on the west side of the country? My goodness me. For once, I didn't get rained on and everyone else did for once. Not that I want that to happen to anyone. It's just, I, 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 it's, um, on Sundays, I really, really pay attention to the weather. And sometimes I forget what is going on on the airfield. Sometimes I take more interest in the weather and forget about the actual days. Hence, I forgot about that it's Easter and stuff like that. And I was just like, trying to plan something for the weather it's 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 insane we're just constantly getting rained on here and one once one part of the country could have weather from the caribbean and then the other side could be you might as well be in the sea do you know what i mean and the rest of the country it's such a shame especially when it's a a farewell fly past as well i mean it's you know when the weather plays up like that it's quite sad Getting closer to us, getting closer. Which barracks is it that it's going to now? It's, uh, is it Merville? Merryville? Merville barracks? Before getting to us, it'll go right. See, one of the one of the uh, plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I was gonna go to Cambridge, but I wasn't exactly sure whereabouts in Cambridge is gonna go over, so I ditched that as well. Um, like I said, I was going to do Lynham, but originally plan A was Shawbury, but that looked wet. And then I thought the uh, the memorial, that looked wet. Then Lynham, no. And then I was thinking, shall I just go here? And I did. That was the plan F, G, H, Z. <laughs> but um, at least I had some sort of contingency and uh, I stuck with it. And I got to see, well, we got to see the, the two depart. Merville Barracks, Colchester. That's the one.
Darren Harwood, emotional. The Harrier farewell was awful. Merville Barracks, yep, yeah, cool, got up right then, eh? Also learned that it's, you pronounce Remy for the uh, Royal Engineers. <laughs> Sorry, Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. Uh, Remy. Didn't know you pronounce it like that. Mind you, Remy, isn't that a oh, brandy? <laughs> That's probably what I was thinking. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, lots of people said it was quite wet at Shawbury today. And, uh, but yeah, that was the plan to, to avoid that. Well, now that it's clear, just do a bit of uh, civilian stuff, shall we? Nice clear sky at the moment. Well, sort of. Beautiful. Well, what I'll do, well, I'm going to switch my uh, ADSB to uh, civilian as well. See if I can catch some overflights like that. Quite nice. Something to wait and look at while we're waiting.
so yeah he just approaching just to the west of St Neots so yeah it's uh, like I said it's running late it's uh, nine minutes late already so it should be about half past six Lady Shen's teddy bears so the light will get a little bit a uh, little bit emotional but uh, nevertheless could be on our side and make it look more dramatic hopefully there are no further delays Yeah, definitely return here again. Definitely, absolutely enjoyed it. I like the spot, it's quiet, it's peaceful. The tree isn't that bad, to be honest. And uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So I'd say it's about 45 minutes away. It's gonna cut down to, uh, gonna drop down quite south, I think, of, well, not south of the country, but uh, we'll head sort of southeast. Uh, towards Colchester and then work its way up I believe so it is a flight of four uh, as far as I know anyway the Yeti flight
Yeah, just keep an eye on ADSB Lady Shens and Teddy Bears. As, uh, as the Yeti flight goes further southeast, should drop level out with Colchester and then head north. Uh, is my is my understanding of this. Let's see. Don't really know where. Is it Bassingbourne Barracks? Is it going to go through there as well? Just trying to find out where Merville Barracks is. Uh, let me go on Google. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Merville Barracks. Colchester. Oh, that's all the way out in Colchester, isn't it? Right, that's like pretty much in Colchester. Right, okay, I got it. Okay, right, okay, that's fine. That makes sense. So, yeah, we'll uh, head down to there. So is it going to fly the Bassingbourne Barracks? Is that part of the, part of the route? Sometimes I do feel like uh, doing a bit of bird watching. We do see some nice stuff. We do see some nice wildlife, actually. I mean, that was some of the, the fun quirks of when we first started this channel. It was always getting like little. It was always like the, it started off with the sheep and the cows, and then it. Then we had like uh, monk jacks and hares, rabbits, foxes, cats, dogs, everything you name it. We had it on the stream, I think. <laughs> oh dear! Great times! Great times! Patiently. So yeah, we're looking at about 45 minutes for them to be here. It's been a long one, but it's been great. Oh, maybe they're not going over Bassingbourne then. Uh, it looked like Bassingbourne Barracks, but it doesn't look like it's going. No, it skipped that. But it's obviously anything related to the to the squadron or the Apache. I think why they were doing that. Is that right? Is that is that why they chose those specific ones? So it's going direct to... Where's Colchester gone? I've lost Colchester. Right, this looks like it's taken a direct route. Ninety-three knots currently at the moment, apparently. Now, where's the Biggles Wade Massive? Where's Damon and Marked? What are they doing? They should be out there jumping around. <laughs> Come on. What a day it's been, and uh, it's. I think the icing on the cake is coming up. It really is. Get ready, because hopefully in in about 45 minutes we'll get a nice fly. Hopefully they just come straight into land. Hopefully, um, we don't know. I don't know. I don't really know what the plan is. It just says land here, so let's see. But it did a fly past at Shawbury and then landed. So.
Lauren Callahan, how you doing? Yeah, we're still going, just <laughs> Alex Ferguson, how you going? I hope you're good. Rolf Robertson, great channel, great community. Thank you, thank you very much. How you doing alright man? How you doing? You're broadcasting mate. Of course. Good. Of course, you're alright. Good well man. Good times, good. Good to see you again. Do you remember when it was? Sorry? Do you remember when and where? Yeah, loads of times. Mac Luke. Um, there was um was it Lake and Eve? Yeah, I've seen you there as well. Lake yeah, oh six, I've met you there. Yeah, I've seen good you loads you, of times man. You, you stayed at the cross foxes. Gum yep. Yeah, you over for the day or? No, I'm actually over for the week. Okay. Um, I was at Gills Ryan this morning. Okay. I've seen them take off. Oh, the, you were there? Uh, Jetty One. <laughs> nice. Jetty One flight. No, this was my travel day anyway, so I'll, I thought I might combine yeah. one with necessary three. Yeah, why not? Yeah, good fun. How you doing, man? Yeah, brilliant, mate. Yeah. All, all good. This is this is different than 2021. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the tra the channel's grown man massively, so yeah, yeah, really good, really really good support. So yeah, yeah. Good to see you know, thanks man, thanks. Yeah, thank you, thanks very much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, definitely, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I remember you were 06. I was with Claire there. Yeah. I remember that. And then we seen you again at MacLeod. That was brilliant. That was good. I think we seen you twice at MacLeod. Was it twice or once? I think it was once. I think. Maybe it was once. Was it during COVID time? Or something? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yeah, but it was late. It was late. Late COVID. Well, I think it was like it, it all starting to, you know. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was great, man. Really good. It was halfway a beast, wasn't it? Mm. What the car? It was a little um, Toyota. Yeah. It's a little Toyota Ego. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't fit all the stuff now, does it? No, no. Now it's fine. Now it's all good. Now. Now it's got it's got room for to breathe now. So. It's nice to see you. Yeah, man. You too. Oh yeah. Mm. They know probably. Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh yeah, they they know the store. Positive five brings you. Oh, absolutely, man. Totally. Yeah, totally. You gonna go come and tomorrow Thursday? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow, and then uh, Wednesday building or Thursday uh, late and eat, and then I'm supposed to go to Fry's Norton for Friday, but I don't know what they're gonna do because it's Good Friday. Could be closed. I don't know. Or could be. 
reduce. Yeah. Who knows? Different, I'll, different uh, messages, yeah. Yeah, I'll just keep checking any no tabs in case they just put closed. Yeah. See ya. Have fun. Yeah. 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 I see Apaches at the moment. I saw this call sign earlier and I thought that was good. It depends if it's going to go to Colchester. I'm not sure. Yeah, but it's not going with you down to the barracks now. I don't know, maybe it will. Yeah. Is it diverting Mer uh, Merville Barracks? That's the thing, it doesn't... Or is it coming down slowly? Maybe it is coming down. Yeah, I think it's coming down. ADSB is just having a fit at the moment. Is that the one we're waiting for? Yeah. Just the one. Yeah, but it was great. It did an air test. So it was doing all these manoeuvres for a good hour. So that, that made up for it. That, that made up for it, to be honest. It was, because otherwise... I thought it was just going to take off and that was it, but it was here for an hour just doing things in oh, yeah. circuits, so that was good in the end. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, here and out in there, if you go to the crash gate and turn in, you can walk along there. That'll give you a good view. Yeah, check it out, man. Yeah, you're going to get tree here. <laughs> Yeah, you too, man. You too. Yeah, man. Take care. It's getting bloody cold. It is getting cold, man. I wish I had fur like Ted. Time for the furball long shots. Yeah, actually, I'll have my last bit of cu last bit of tea. <laughs> oh, saved it just for the last. They should be here. They should be long, should they? Sorry. They should be long. No, half six. Yeah, the light's gonna be still. Be all right. Did you did you drop your old cup? <laughs> did you hear that? Did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> yeah. That's why I have a tin one. Yeah. So it doesn't smash. It went all the way down there. <laughs> I heard you. Uh, yeah, I know. I think the whole base heard it. Oh dear. Can't be too long now. Are you watching them on ADSB? I'm trying to pick them up, but I can't get them. It, uh, it looks like they're going to avoid Mer Merville Barracks, that all the way to Colchester. Yeah. I think, unless ADSB is having a glitch. Oh no, no, he's going down. He's is, he is heading there. No, it's going. It was having a moment. Kept disappearing for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like they'll go to Colchester and then go the original route. Until a little while ago, Yeti, yeah, Yeti, that's right. Yeah, yeah. They normally fly over RL, you only live over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> put the extra layers on. Yeah, it's, it's dropping temperature now, sunset in about 18 minutes. Oh, oh, please come for that. Sorry? Mind you, I can shoot through the hole in the... Yeah. I sort of threw it through the gate. I've heard. Hi, I'm Ian, by the way. I think we've met before at Lake Eddie. Ian? Yeah. How you doing, man? Nice you good? Be. Yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah, I you think we've definitely met before. It is because... All right, mate. Yeah, nice one. I work in the helicopter industry. How do you? Yeah, so... I'm a local of Cambridge as well. All right, check you out. Yeah, yeah, do that. I do follow you on YouTube. Oh, thank you. Okay. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, because it wasn't that long ago. I saw you probably down at Mildred Hall as well. I think you might be down Folly Road. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've done that. that. Go, yeah, Folly you? Road. That was uh, last year, wasn't it? Yeah, that was all right. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's all good. Channel's growing nicely and everything's going well. And hopefully we catch these I mean, nice... I haven't been up to Coningsby since Cobra Warrior last year. Oh, right. But there's no Cobra, Cobra Warrior this year. Uh, because no. of all hell breaking these Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Well, I know the March one's cancelled, obviously. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if they've cancelled it for the whole thing this yeah. year. How far away do you live from Coningsby? Uh, one hour. OK. Which side? Well, Lincoln. No, so, uh, yeah, almost Cambridgeshire, but the uh, Peterborough. Oh, you live Peterborough way? Yeah. Ah, okay, I'm being filled. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I hang out Huntingdon a lot. That's why the, you know, my social feed has got a lot of friends living around God Manchester's Huntingdon. Oh, place. right. I go there. Mm. Oh, right. And I know the late friend who lived in Yaxley. Okay. Oh, Yaxley, yeah, I don't live far from there. What, what village do you live in? Oh, but close by. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thanks a lot, Lauren Callahan. We're super grateful for you being there, Nichols. Yeah. Thank you. I just hope there's there's a bit of light. We can see them in. The, it, 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 there's enough light for us, hopefully. Um, Yeah, I'd say quarter to seven, um, looks like they'll be here because they are going now, going to turn east for Colchester and then north for Watersham. <laughs> I don't mind, honestly, it's all good. G Van Pulliam, no worries, you're welcome. Teddy, good mate. Down a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ocean says hi Ted, hi. Hello to hello to Ocean. Thanks Lauren. Hope you're good. Mick T, how you doing? G Van Pulliam, how you doing? Mark Flatman, how's it going? Hope you're all good. Claire Bear, how's it going? Captain A, Colin Scrim, Brian Smith, Christine Barnes. Hope you're all good. <laughs> no, 
Mark Flatman, oi oi. Right, so they're just uh, approaching Colchester, which is good. Come on, put your foot down. <laughs> well, actually, it's not feet, is it, that controls that? So, once they get to Colchester, they'll head north to find us. And finally, <laughs> they're here. Oh dear, it's quite funny. I've been, I don't know how long I've been streaming for, about eight hours, maybe? Eight hours, 22 minutes. Amazing. Jimmy Pash, how you doing, Jimmy? Thanks all the goodies. I've been snacking on the old uh, biscuits there. Thank you very much for that. Now I've got you the other side. Thanks, man. Good evening, Andrew Jacklin. How's it going? Not long to go. That was better than a sort of an air show. What you pay to go to watch, don't it? Red, red arrows are on parade, aren't they? Yeah. And the old red devils. So they're about Yeti flight, just southwest of Colchester, straight up past a Merville, and then they'll head north and be with us, I'd say, in the next half an hour. Hopefully less. <laughs> it's been a long one. It's been a long day, but it's been great. It's a bit like what to expect when you're going low level flying, uh, well, not this one, when you are going to a low flying area. Ted cam, no Ted cam today. No, no Ted cam today. Where did you put it? Uh, wherever. Yeah, just on the edge here. Yeah, oh, I'm glad you know about the Ted cam. That's cool. <laughs> That's hardcore, that is. Knowing about the Ted cam. I don't see all the footage, but I. Yeah, you know about the stuff. That's good. Ah, oh, so yeah. Not... You're live, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, live now. If you want to give a shout out to the uh, Gills Orion crew. Sorry? To the Gills Ryan crew? Gills? Gills Ryan? Gills Ryan? Oh, Gills Ryan! Sorry. Got it. Yeah. In Netherlands. Gills Ryan crew. Hang on, let's do this properly. <laughs> I haven't got a Dutch flag, but uh, I'm sure one of my Dutch friends will send me one. Uh, Gills Ryan crew, how you all doing from the Netherlands? Big shout out to them. Thank you very much. Off he goes. <laughs> nice one. I just worked out what you meant there, the base in the yeah, Netherlands. Oh yes, hell yeah. Oh yeah. That's brilliant. See, we're there today and now here to see them. Brilliant. Yeah, oh, hello. Coincidence. Nice coincidence, huh? mm. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, first time for me. Uh, lots of people helped me out to find um, a, a few spots. I came came here and I was like, yeah, I'll take this one. It was good. Got an overall view, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, to balance, you know? Yeah. It's, a, it's a good balance, to be honest. I was thinking of going that side yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Well, I was over there where those cars were first, and I was like, now nah, I'll try here. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, my friend Arjen says hello, uh, he ah, says Gills Ryan. Yeah, thanks Arjen. We've got a fellow Dutch here. <laughs> How's the ceiling for Blackjack Turbo? Is it down already? Or? One more to go and I think he's 500 after that. One more to go and then 500 and then... Maybe Thursday, I think. Yeah, and then after that it's 
300 feet to 100. So uh, it's... Uh, Proper low, that. Yeah. <laughs> seen some epic photos from last week's practice this place, you know, the, rain, the rainbow fluff and all that. Beautiful, yeah. really good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> There's a lot of shout outs to the Gills Ryan crew on here. <laughs> Of fans in Holland as well. Yeah, yeah, it's quite. We got quite a few. I, I just sent one of the patches to to Netherlands as well. Yeah. Oh, when we were standing in the van. Yeah. I've got. Yeah, I've got merch. Do you want to have a look? We still got a few minutes. Yeah, we still got ten minutes. I'll show you what we got. Hang on. Did I bring them? Hang on. I need to think. Oh God. I hate, I hate the postage from Let the UK to Holland. Oh, if it's here, it's here. If not, it always goes wrong. Oh, I have got them. Ah, you see. Let's see what we got. I only have a limited. Um, I don't keep everything, otherwise. No, it's no, sure. Oh, wow. but, uh, I'm just curious. You know. Okay, so we have. Yeah, sure. You can, right, so we have. I'll just show you what we got. We have. We have our new patch. That's the new one for this year. I'll show you it anyway. Nice. Because Holland now have F-35s, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we got the F-35, we got the, the new patch. I'll watch them. I'll show them the next one. Yeah. The and then we've got all the key tags as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, F-35s. Cool. We've got, look at this. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. And obviously, because Ted keeps losing his beret, remove beret before oh, flight. It's brilliant. something a little bit different. We got uh, Lake and Eve F35s, a couple of homemade badges, mm. and pin badges, Ted HQ Coningsby, and the Send It. So what are these? The Haribo sweets. Oh, you, oh there we go. You, you get them with every purchase. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Ted Do thing. You, seriously? Yeah, you get a are free... They, are they bears or something? Uh, well, it's Haribo, isn't it? He's a bear. Yeah, like, you, people bear. buy this just for the Haribo. This is funny. <laughs> but yeah, so we got... Um, so the tags are seven and the patch. Nice one, mate. Patch is 15, one five. Oh, nice one. Okay, yeah, good. I'll, I'll take, no, no rush. I'll take, just I'll take one or two patches, actually. Yeah? Which, yeah. yeah, totally cool, man. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I can some, make someone happy in Holland with one of them. Oi, oi! Oi, oi, how you doing? <laughs> Who's that? Perry. How you doing, man? You good? Yes, fella. Good times. I can hear him. I can see, yeah, I'll be up in a sec. Um, which did you need, bro? Ah, that is a good thing. You want one of those? Yeah, I'll do them. Two of them? Oh, sure. I'll give you these two. I've got 20 pounds in my pocket. I can also do, you know, bank off. I saw the sum up. Sum yeah, up yeah, yeah, that's fine, man. These, are better. these two, yeah? Yeah. Cheers, okay. mate. Cheers. Oh, the two Haribos or one Haribo? So you can have two. Otherwise, I would make two purchases <laughs> or one patch. You know? <laughs> nice one. That's good to see you again. Hey, you too, bro. There's two Haribos for ah, you. Brilliant, mate. Well done. Yeah. Well done. So 20 and the 10, yeah? 20 and the 10. Twenty, twenty. Are you doing it all with sum up? Yeah, yeah. Are you are? Okay, yeah, 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 no. I'll keep the cash, right. cash with me for cool. a rainy day. Just, just so I don't be embarrassed. They're probably over our house. Let me just check that, that, it's, uh, <laughs> that it's not coming right now. <laughs> We're going to go on like this. They are coming now. <laughs> we'll do it in a bit. Yeah, we'll do it in a bit. We'll do it in a bit. No worries, mate. You set yourself up there and speak to you in a bit. Yeah, speak to you in a bit. It's supposed to be night. That's good that they're coming now anyway. I'll, I'll get the sum up ready anyway. Yeah, no worries. For an hour behind schedule. Yeah, we kept sitting at home until the last minute. Yeah, no worries, man. I think you know, so that's what Sure. Right, they're not far now. How you doing, Harry? Alright, man. Hey, here is Perry! From there, it said Harry. The P turned to H. How you doing? Yeah. That sounded like Harry from now. I oh, couldn't really? see who you were. Mad dash from work. Perry! <laughs> right, well, they're coming now, actually. See look. Really? You're 12 o'clock. 
Oh, listen to that. Can you hear that? That's gorgeous, isn't it? Where, where are they at? I can't see them yet. I still can't see him. Right the tower. Right the tower. above it. Over the Reigny building. Oh, as low as that? Yeah. They're going to do a fly through apparently on 2 3. Cool. It's a challenge for the camera. <laughs> Here we go, ladies, gents, and teddy bears.
beautiful. And that's worth waiting for. It sure does. Being here since eight in the morning does make it worthwhile. <laughs> Lovely sights here, ladies, gentlemen, teddy bears.
teddy bears, Yeti flight. Farewell fly past for the retirement of the Mark I Apache. There we go. It was worth waiting for. bedtime mate goodness me right uh, <laughs> well there we go lady sheds teddy bears how we doing how we doing lady sheds teddy bears you can just about see us here in the dark <laughs> we made it we survived nine hours <laughs> thanks everyone for that i hope it, it was worth waiting for to see the four come in it was beautiful ladies shenta teddy bears ted Coningsby channel bringing you live military aviation with passion and <laughs> and perseverance and lots of uh, patience as well lovely lovely to see the uh, yeti formation there beautiful thank you everyone that's tuned in today thank you so much everyone for that um, much appreciated um, just before we go uh, I'll, I'll do a goodbye and I'll do the last few guards marches so ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears thank you everyone that's been patient with me as well that is so cool that you were there with us you know throughout the time I know it's not not the best to have it but you know you know how I've always said it it's not just about aircraft you were there talking away chatting away on the chats because this community rocks let's ride right ladies and teddy bears I'm going to finish up I'm going to get you guards marches to those who have given us um, super chats and uh, gifted memberships and took out take on his memberships listen thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow Ted take it away Ted you're right mate <laughs> right where's my phone Ted thanks everyone for watching big shout out to all of you guards marches coming up for those and we're off right I'm leaving it with Ted Ted all yours mate Rob Kennard, thank you very much. Guards March for you, man. Thank you very much. Guards March, our gear and Sylvester Ilmavina. Thank you very much. Guards March. Right, thank you very much. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Ted, you've got to go to bed, mate. <laughs> see ya. No, come on, Ted. I'm... <laughs>